They built their headquarters on stolen land. And, and then they bought it. They, yeah, yeah it's in Vermont. It's in the United States. Announced that, hey, we, uh, we, we hey. think all stolen land should be handed back. And, and then, then they, they heard, heard went, a, uh, hey, excuse me. Hey, somebody at the door. Yeah, yeah hello? What, do you want to get that? Yeah, Is yeah. It, uh, uh yeah hi uh i'm i'm a member of the indian tribe mm -hmm. and this is our land the, i'm sorry do you know you're at ben and jerry's headquarters right now no no, no i got that i got that i understand okay. that but you remember that that tweet you posted on the fourth of july yeah you posted the indigenous land with america was founded on that yes you are them so if i could just just grab the keys from you <laughs> and i'll get out of here and just all these employees just clear them out so This week's episode, ladies and gentlemen, man or men? Gentlemen. Gentlemen, plural. Multiple men. Brought to you by Mudwater, ladies and gentlemen. Mudwater is a coffee, a coffee, whoops, coffee alternative with four adaptogenic, nailed that pronunciation, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, they put a pronunciation guide in there. Oh, look at that. Adaptogenic mushrooms and our shoot. This one hurt us last week, too. Yeah. Ayurvedic? Ayurvedic herbs, baby. With only a fraction of caffeine as a cup of coffee, you get the energy without the anxiety, jitters, or crash of coffee. Mudwater leans on mushrooms in their blend of matcha and their blend of chai. I know that one. For sustained energy, each ingredient was added for a purpose. Lion's mane. That's a mushroom for alertness. Cordyceps. Cordyceps? Cordyceps. They got no pronunciation on that one, so nope. they're just assuming we know it. Yes. They're like, you guys aren't idiots. They heard how good a reader you are. You know it's not that. Yeah. Uh, to help support physical performance, Changa and Risha, Risha to support immune system, turmeric, I know what that is, for soreness, and cinnamon for antioxidants. Ladies and gentlemen, Mudwater is 100% USDA, organic, non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, and kosher certified. They sent me a box of it. I'm into it. Mudwater believes the country is in a mental health epidemic, which we are. I mm -hmm. mean, look at all the news that we're going to cover today, dude. <laughs> Just yeah, wait until we hear it, dude. dude. <laughs> no, we, we're with you on that one, Mudwater. Yep. We're with you on that <laughs> Plenty one. Plenty of evidence to support. As a useful tool for individuals with depression, PTSD, anxiety, and other mental health experiences, go to Mudwater, M U D W T R dot com slash net positive to support the show and use the code net positive. For 15% off. Get in there, baby. Let's start the show. Yup. Oh, welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. Alex is here. Yep. Andrew is here. The whole squad is here. Oh, dude. Um, should we start off with the uh the um country? Yeah, where are we at? Country of the week, dude. The new we're charting in the country of. And I think I'm guess I'm I think I'm getting an idea over the region of these because that's it's more um Country of the week this week, Andrew, is uh, Estonia. Ooh. Take it away, Andrew. What do you got? Zero idea. No idea? <laughs> Estonia? Estonia. Nothing? I feel like it's in Eastern Europe. Yeah, oh, yeah. There you go. Uh, Romania. Uh, cl uh, is close. giving me... I'm thinking Romania. It's giving me. It's giving. What are you, a, are you a Swifty? It's giving. It's giving Romania. I'm a TikTok influencer. Yeah. It's giving. Uh, Kid had one clip go wild and now he's. Albania. It's close there. Yeah. No. It's no, not. it's not Albania. I'm definitely definitely not. not. No. Oh, Estonia. So it's northern. Uh, it's northeast. It's yeah. right below Finland across the, across the little Baltic Sea there. Oh, uh, yeah. That's like, I, I bet influencers go there. To take photographs. Most likely. It looks like yeah. there's a lot of like uh, uh, castle yeah. type. Yeah, type energy. Type architecture. Estonia. Yeah, it's giving castle. Yeah, it's giving <laughs> castle. Uh, yeah, it, it, each week we shout out a new country that we're charting in. Welcome to the Estonians. Yes, the Estonians. Oh, the Estonians. I know we had two foreign exchange students that lived in our house in high school from Estonia. No way. Yeah. Nice. They were cool. That's cool. Yeah, they were, that's probably why. It's them. It's them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they always used to sneak. I mean, my dad's like a pastor, you know? And they would, just, like, he would find, like, out in the back, like, deck around the corner, he'd find, like, cigarette butts, you know? Because <laughs> they were, like, smoking or something like that. Because they were super cool. Oh, yeah. They were cool, dude. They were, uh, they were also the first country to adopt an online political voting system. Oh, uh, we took that from them. Yeah. Well, we oh, no, we don't. Now we just mail in. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, online voting. Okay. I got you. Yeah, we don't, we don't have that. that. We don't have so that. So very progressive in tech there. Oh, yeah. 99% of state services are available online. Wow. 
I think they're big uh, in like blockchain. And 50, per, oh yeah, 50% of Estonia is covered in forest. And the wow. sauna is the way of life. Sauna Let's go to Estonia. Life. Let's go, dude. Let's do some live episodes. This sounds Estonia. way better. Yeah. This sounds like something that we would do to, uh, uh, to if we had like some extra money at the end of the year for tax purposes, like my CPA would be like, hey, if you, if you spend like a hundred grand, you're going to save like 500 grand in like taxes. Right. So what, and they were like, dude, we're doing a, <laughs> we're doing an episode in Estonia. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, where? I don't know. It's just in the forest. Bro. Just there. 50% yeah, the of it is forest. So I mean, yeah. one and two shot will end up in the forest. Oh, the digital republics here by blockchain. There you go. Yeah. So Estonia was the first Let's nation go. state in the world to deploy blockchain technology and production systems. Yeah. Wild. Yeah, dude. Good for you. Welcome in. Yeah. Welcome in everybody from Estonia. You're going to, uh, yeah, they're going to get on board with what we're talking about today. Hot, hot episode. The hottest. Uh, okay, the news is absolutely stacked. And, Super and, stacked. And, and let me just say the news is stacked because of the listeners. Yeah. The listeners see stuff on and that's why this that's why this podcast is so helpful to so many people. Because they people see things and they go, dude, net positive, please. Y'all gotta mm -hmm. y'all gotta put this in context. Yeah. They send that to us. And then we have we I probably had the most we probably had the most emails we've ever had. Dude, when you texted me and said hundreds, I hundreds. was like, mm, he's exaggerating. Not. And then I checked the inbox. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Were you not exaggerating? You know who got a little hop in their step around the house? Who's that, John? <laughs> yeah, your wife, <laughs> dude. It was her idea. Make you say. Credit where credit is due. Yep. She's like, why are we embarrassed by things that we shouldn't be embarrassed by? Yes. And we had hundreds. Yes. Some of them are so good. Dude, I we have a bunch of them at the end of the episode, too. We're going to read all of those. Oh, so yeah. We're going to read every screenshot single Screenshot a bunch one. of them. Yeah. We'll go through all of them. Coming off a hot week for us, dude. We, we were out in the wild. Woo! Out the three of us out and about dude. oh yeah out and about out we and had about. a little uh where were you at well you said no uh, the three of us oh do you want to talk about that or yeah no? go ahead yeah all right well and look at andrew he's like i don't want to talk about this go do it well you, somebody said okay i bet every everybody in a relationship will relate to this because mm -hmm. you go hey in the group text of us three yo where like you said the name of a bar yeah you coming through and that i would say that is uncommon. And I go... For what? What's uncommon about us saying that in that group chat? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, think I go, we've only done that twice. Yeah. I go, all right, is there like a... Is there like a thing where all of our buddies at that I didn't know about? Yeah. Is there uh, is there something new open that we're on the, the RSVP list for yeah. that I didn't know? I go, okay... Yeah, but did I miss did I miss something? Yeah, what is what is it? It's got to be an occasion because we yeah, don't well, just do what this do we very do? much. Yeah, and I yeah. and I'm well, I'm down to sure. And 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 I was like, oh uh, yeah, I go, I'll come through. Yeah, and you and you're like, all right. And then I was like, what do we? Do? And then we were like at we were at the bar for like an hour, and then it was like Andrew's like wife is like on the road. I go, oh okay, yeah, that's why we're here. Yes, why don't you just say that? Yeah, Andrew was back dude. yeah andrew he was back <laughs> he was back bro. andrew was back in the best way dude andrew was on 10 yeah dude yeah because i was like I, I, I really it was just like you and your buddies yeah and, which i love and yeah, there it was were, literally like three of yeah, us the squad yeah and i was like what's up and you were like what's up and i was like yeah why are we here like <laughs> we're like why not dude? it's like an intervention bro, it ended up being one of like the most fun like off yeah, it was the unbelievable. cuff nights i've had in nashville it was well, I came, so much fun. i came from kid rocks yeah like not kid rocks bar kid no. rock concert <laughs> right yeah, i came from kid rocks concert. you're like yeah man i'm over at bridgestone right now but like i'll pop over after like, let me come see through. what's going on and then it got and then it got wild so it didn't you, really get wild for like rewind though rewind okay. you showed up and I you were promised something by andrew uh, oh yeah, okay. I was promised a Red Bull, right? Right. I was promised a cold Red Bull because that's your bar drink. He's like, dude, I got you. Yep. I don't drink. Yep. He's like, I got you on ones on on the house when yep. you get here. Yeah, and it was not there. No, they didn't have any. Didn't there? <laughs> they didn't have it. And then I uh, I would say an hour in. Yeah, I go. You going up to the bar? And there's it's like one of those bars that doesn't have like. I was like, I don't know. Just give me like a Coke, like a soda, mm -hmm. because they don't have anything fun for people that don't drink. Mm -hmm. It's just like. It's a very upscale. Yeah. They don't have a Red Bull fridge. No. That would be too much light. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wouldn't be aesthetic enough. No, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be, fit it, the space. It's like they don't have any TVs in there. Right. Because they don't that's not it's not a TV bar. No, it's a it's like a cocktail bar out of a movie type. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I go, give me a and Andrew <laughs> comes back. Just you tell him, dude. Good thing he's got a mic today. <laughs> People in the comments oh. have been looking. Hey, welcome, just, John and Alex, and increasingly mic'd Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> That's what somebody said. Slightly more mic'd yeah. Andrew, yeah. Uh, I've never ordered a Coke at a bar like that. <laughs> okay, so it does not need to put me down. I sir. just said, can I get a couple beers and a Coke? Yeah. And he poured just 
a can of Coke in one just singular glass. <laughs> like a like a cocktail glass. Right. Yeah. Like a I yeah. brought it to John and it had no ice. <laughs> it was just warm. Just warm Coke. And he looks at it and he goes immediately, dude, what is this? And I'm like, it's Coke, dude. This dude, is it's, what, it's what you asked for. And then you brought it up and you were like, dude, who drinks Coke with no ice? Yeah, warm. And I looked at what was in your hand and I was ashamed of myself. <laughs> what was in my hand? The, 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 the Coke. Oh, you looked no down ice. at it. Oh, yeah, you didn't get it in your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you pointed oh, yeah. it out, I was like, oh, this is ridiculous. I go, what is this, dude? <laughs> so I went back, I threw the Coke at the guy and I yeah. said, put some dang ice in here, yeah. dude. Did he get, yeah, it, oh, it was in a can. That would make more sense then. I was talking to your boy, and he was. You turned to me, and you're like, yeah. "Yo, yeah, 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 yo, what is this? Hey, look what Andrew just brought me." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what is that? What? <laughs> like filled very significantly too. Like, yo, she, yeah, to all the way, brim. I, I go, I'm just gonna sip off. There was this? no room for ice. No, it was, was a, it was yeah. filled all the way. I respect it. Unreal. Yeah, dude. yeah. And, and then we, yeah, yeah the, 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 the night went on from there. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Well, yeah, we don't have to talk about the rest of it. We can leave it. Nobody cares about this. Yeah. No. Nobody no. cares. But it was dude. a blast, man. That was blast, fun. Blast, It was a good time. Uh, yeah, we, uh, I mean, the world of, well, Andrew's back. That's all I got to say. Andrew is back. Andrew all the way goes, back. You want Andrew, if you're going out, it's like one of those guys that like, you want him like on, on the, like the dance floor of your wedding. Yeah. You know, yeah. that Andrew. Yes. You want him. Yeah. I don't know that he ever left, but mm -hmm. yeah. He, yeah. He shows up in full form. Oh, yeah. Full dude. form. I'm surprised we uh, made it through the week. Because the world's coming to an end. Yeah. The world is coming to an end. I'm surprised we're still here, honestly. Yeah. The actors in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> and the writers mm -hmm. have chosen to go on strike. They have. And I don't know how we're existing, really. Right. I don't know how we're going to make it. No. Like, there's other things, you know, politically and wars and the economy that, that we can survive that. This, I, I, uh, we can't. Yeah, I don't think we can make it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, and I, all right, I've lived amongst these people mm -hmm. for five years when I lived in LA. Yeah. These people, okay, dude, I don't want to start this early. But the writer, all right, their big beef is that uh, there's a lot of issues facing writers like uh, um, AI is, and, and then yeah. the streaming services with like Netflix is like, Netflix is the only one, if you if I put something on YouTube um, I would say all movies, all studios, uh, most of the streaming services are now going the way of Netflix, where if you put something on there, you don't get residuals. Right. So they just pay you for it. And then no matter how good or bad it does, that's... Uh, so there, there are issues facing the writers. Absolutely. Okay. That said. That said, these people have ha put out so much trash... And have, have lectured us on the vaccine and politics and Ukraine and all the stuff that they have no idea what they're talking about. Have treated us, the consumers of their products, so terribly for 10 years that now we, I'm sorry, their, their big gripe is that no one cares. They go, no one cares. I go, yeah, I, we don't. I'll say on behalf of us, we don't. We don't. Because, all right, and I looked up, what did I ask you before this? I go, what was the, uh, what's the one with the best pictures? Yeah, the award show. What's the award show? The Oscars. 2022. Everything, everywhere at once. You ever seen it? Nope. Nope. Okay. The Fablet, the Fablamans. Nope. Uh, the Banshees of Ishahern. Nope. All Quiet on the Western Front. Nope. These are all Oscar winners? Is that yeah. what you're reading? Yep. Keep going. Avatar, The Way of Water. That was big. Love it. Tar. Nope. Elvis. Elvis? Nope. Triangle of Sadness? Nope. Woman Talking? No. <laughs> That's 2022. All of those sounds like things that just annoy me. <laughs> That's... <laughs> <laughs> Is that the Oscars nice. winners list or uh, a oh, list of things that hey, annoy me? Maybe it, was, maybe it was an off year. Maybe it's an off year. Oh, okay. an you're off right. Year. You're right. Go back. Go back. Let's one go more 2021. Year. Yeah, go ahead. Coda? Uh, nope. West Side Story? Remake, mm. by the way. Uh, no. Seen the original, though. Okay. Drive My Car? No. Uh, licorice pizza. No. Oh, maybe these are like the movies that flopped. No, no, no. I'm reading. I'm reading best picture Oscar nominees. Yeah, no. no okay. Uh, Dune. Yes. King Richard. Yes. Belfast. No. Don't look up. Yes. Nightmare Alley. No. 
The Power of the Dog. No. Featuring Lady Gaga. No. Oh, no. Okay. I thought you were featuring Lady Gaga. That's in the title? Yep. <laughs> well, maybe what let's go. It, was it a mixtape? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Maybe they had two off years. Sure, yeah, they yeah. Go ahead, one more. They had yeah. two off years. One oh, more. 2020. Uh, Nomad Land. No. No, that one. Best. The, oh, that one. Yeah. That was the best picture. Nomad Land. Yeah, no, I didn't see Beat uh, Minari. Nope. Judas and the Black Messiah. Oh. No. Okay. The Trial of the Chicago Seven. Nope. No. Okay. Promising Young Woman. No. No. Okay, weird. Sound of Metal. No. No. Okay. Mank. M A N K. No, I'm, I'm not a word. <laughs> I mean, I'm joking, but I'm not. Those, so, all right, those sound. I think I could. I could make a list that sounded like more recognizable movie titles out of thin air yes. than the list that yes. you just read me. Those all sound fake. I think it's like licorice pizza. I'm not going. <laughs> hey, do you want to see licorice pizza? No, Mank. No, you know? I don't. Yeah, <laughs> like hey, hey. AI should be writing those. AI should be writing those. I'm sorry. I'd go see Mank written by AI just to see what happened. Yeah. Now, the writer, okay. It's not good. And anything that is good you, is a remake of the original. Mm. And I was just talking to Ernest this morning about this. Yeah. Is we were we, he sent me um, a country, a promo for a country, a, an artist here in town that's making a country song. And I and it was like the promo of it. And he he just had like an eye roll. Mm -hmm. And I, I go, I haven't heard this song, but I've heard this song. Mm -hmm. Meaning like, and he goes, yeah. yeah. And I know the whole life cycle of this song. Yeah. And like I said, him and Hardy and Morgan and Zach Bryan and and a Bailey Zimmerman. Like the like we haven't heard stuff like this before. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's going everywhere. Yeah. Like the writer, like you can't mail it in for ten years. And then we don't go see any of your movies. And then they have to renegotiate in Hollywood because they're not the money's not coming in. And then they go, hey, please. It's like the guy that has been bullying you, bullying you on the recess every day. And then he comes in late and there's like no more bottled water for him. They were like, yeah, he's like, I'm thirsty. I go, yeah, I understand. But you have been... Tr be beating us up yeah, every terrible to us yeah we yeah. we agree that you need water mm -hmm. but it's just not on a priority list yeah because the way you've been treating us yeah that's it yeah we is like the, some of these writers can't afford rent i i i'm with you some of these actors uh it's uh they're gonna lose their teslas or whatever like okay like it's hard they're gonna have to all right Hey, remember when the world shut down and all some of these actors are gonna have to move back in with their parents? Yeah, everyone had to do that. Yeah. In 2019 or 2020. Mm -hmm. We do the issues are, are I agree they're with real. Yeah, they're yes, real issues. We agree with all we just don't yeah. care yeah. because what's coming out of there. I think a ton of it, like a ton of the frustration for me is like we said, there these are real issues. Yep. Y'all are people and I care about you as humans. Yes. A absolutely. I, I think you should fight for all of this. Yeah, and the, I and support the, and, you in that too. And the and the 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 networks have billions. Yep. And you have I agree. I support you I, in that. One hundred percent. I also think we need to acknowledge you're not nobody, by the way, is entitled to things no. always being smooth True. and taken care of. Oh, like agreed. this is what life is. Yeah. And sounds like they had a decent run for a while yeah. and now things are not great and yep. so they want it fixed great a but you gotta run for, for a long time sure but you and, gotta fight yeah. for that stuff yeah that, like, that is how it works it's like the uh it's like the um I i'll give you a perfect example we talked about this before taxis mm -hmm. the taxi unions are fighting to keep ubers out of airports yeah and they were like we need because what about these taxi drivers that feed their families and now they can't i go i agree mm -hmm. i agree you should be able to feed but you guys have been treating us terribly for 10 years where you call some switchboard and they're like, we'll send a cab out in the morning at 5 a.m. And it's snowing and you're going to the airport and you're like, I hope it comes. Yeah. And then somebody's like, we got an app that we'll, you can see where it is yeah. and you can walk outside and you can rate it. And if yeah. it smells like smoke, you can rate it and you can not tip. And then there's, the, there's no cheating on the time. And it's like, oh, yeah. Like, we agree that, but unfortunately, I'm sorry. Well, and I think too, like, I, I almost don't even want to approach it that way because then okay. it sounds like a con it sounds like it's a consequence. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. you guys did bad and so now you suffer. Yeah, okay, like, I don't great, really fair. like it that way. I think it's more so, this is just capitalism. Yeah. Like, things evolve and change and move. And yeah. because we have free markets, yeah. the people are going to, like, the market dictates where around. the money yeah. goes. And yeah. in that scenario, Uber undercut the taxi yeah, market yeah. because it was a better service for the people. Yeah. 
AI is undercutting writers. Yeah. Because it writes quicker, faster, and cheaper. Yeah. 30 bucks a month, you can yeah. write as many scripts as you want. Yeah. So That's it's like- That's scary for it's them. It's insane. That's scary. It's insane, yeah. dude. And and like, yeah. I would, I'd be lying if I said there weren't a, aspects of AI that get into our industry as yep. well, where yep. it's like, okay, yep. can we write comedy now? We yep. can definitely use it to edit podcasts. Yeah. So it's like- yep. How does that stuff work? Is it? That's adapt and change and grow. And, and if to. you don't, yeah. you get left behind. And 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 I'll and, and I'll tell you why the writers are striking. Uh, I went on vacation in Colorado for five nights. Mm -hmm. There was a TV in the room. I did not turn it on once. Mm -hmm. That's why the writers are on strike. Mm. It is. It wow. is. Wow. Because no one's go. Everybody goes. All right. Cool. They lay. They get. We get done with dessert. And we we then we go into the and then I go, and I look what's going on in here. Yeah, and no, I didn't turn on a movie. Yeah, one I didn't turn on a TV show. In fact, I was watching the news because mm -hmm. Lydia hosts the news at ten after the news comes on Saturday Night Live, and it was a old episode. I go right. Yeah, all right, yeah. Although if it's an old episode, you might actually see some good jokes. Hey, so. uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we. I, I don't. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. I sympathize. I sympathize with the writers because they are people fighting for fair wages. Yeah, and I always sympathize with that because you that. deserve it. On yeah. the other hand, if the market is tough and this is a consequence yeah. of that, it's no one's fault. No. What it, are you it, do? Like if and if you say, well, you can't, you can't earn a living. Well, that's like a, that's like a, that's like a, a privilege, not a privileged living. I wouldn't say that. I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. I uh, we're in this industry. Yeah. Th that one we're just we're it's not entertainment. Yeah, we're in entertainment. You can still you're like I care about. Uh, it's like the it's like the um, it goes back to the uh, what's it called tire pump. Mm -hmm. It's like I want to make art. You're like yeah, okay, kind of. You want to be famous is what you want to be mm. because you can still make it. You can still write. What I, I would say too, you can still like write I, by yourself. I you think can still uh, write stuff. You can still yeah. Sorry, I, I'm stepping all over you. No, nah, you're not. Nah, you I think you that more better points than me. I think I think that like a, a the bigger picture that comes out of this is like, dude, most positions in entertainment are not lucrative. No, yeah, most positions are yeah. cool and fun because yeah. you say I work on X Y Z yeah. and people go, oh wow, he works on X Y Z. Yeah, that's really oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, yeah, you're making ten bucks an hour. That's what. But and the benefit is that. Right. It's to say I was on an episode right. of The Office. Yeah. That that is payment. Yes. It is. It is. It it's no. definitely part of it. It carries weight. Yeah. No question. Yeah. Being a comic is not you're like, oh, or like I'm a I'm an artist, right? I'm mm -hmm. I'm a musician. Like it doesn't pay anything either. Yeah. None of my unless you get to the top, they none of them pay. I was I, I told you before. None of the this. cool none of the cool jobs pay. Right. Until you get to the top. Yes. The most lucrative businesses Gosh. are boring. Yeah. I talk about this all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're yeah. all boring. Yeah. The people who own lumber factories yeah. and mines yeah. and like that the guy type that, like, of stuff. like produces duct tape. Yes. He's got a house yes. bigger than he all of us. He makes that plant next to you yeah. and he sells 80 million of them a year yeah. for $30,000 yeah. a week. Like, that and guy, I'm undercutting that. Yeah. Like, and when he goes out to dinner, it's not cool to, to say. Right. But his car is cool. Oh, well, he has <laughs> way more zeros in his bank account yeah, than I do. Like, he's got yeah. more commas. Yeah, the sexy yeah. jobs so, yeah, that's are a good not point. the ones that are lucrative. And I started yeah. watching the Hillsong doc yeah. last night. That's why I got these glasses. Not to dive. Nice, dude. Very <laughs> nice. I, won't, I don't want to dive into the yeah, doc yeah, itself, yeah, but yeah, one yeah. of the points they were making was like the musicians cool. in the church cool. were not being paid well. Yeah. They were, quote, only getting a stipend of about $180 a day. Yeah, yeah. Do that math. Yeah. To me, that sounds decent. For what you're, yep. for what you're doing now, yeah, is it a full time road. job? Yeah, probably not. No, especially living in New York. Yeah, no. But 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 all right. So for these, what you're so doing, these people voluntarily took it. So what? So what to say? Well, then there must be some other. You didn't have to take the job. No, you have to take the job. So there must be some other payment, and the other payment is being cool. The other payment is being on Instagram. Or it's cool. Hey, you got to scrap and get a, and get a second job. Yeah, if you, you probably, want, if you want to chase that dream, like yeah. that's that's the cost of doing it. Yeah, yeah. You don't just walk in and be like, "Hey, you're, we're gonna pay you, you know, one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year to yeah. just play music at the church." Yeah, that would be absurd. Yeah, what's, what's just get, day one? Yeah. No way. Earn it though. Off the top, earn it though. Off the we'll, jump. Yeah, yeah. Because it's cool. Because there's a, like uh, uh, being being in the uh, being like a double A baseball player. Bingo. You've talked, we talked about this before. This was my world. Yeah. 
It's cool. Mm-hmm. It's cool on Instagram. Mm-hmm. It's cool. Yep. But you're li- you're staying at a residence in. You make 38, uh, 38 grand that. a year, and yeah. you have uh, lawn furniture in the one bedroom apartment that you have. Yeah, that's not on Instagram. No. Yeah, and you go, hey, I want to make it to the big. If you if you are yep. willing to sacrifice those things, mm-hmm. family, um, uh, all those actors are living with their buddies, right? If you want, yep. if I and I support that because I did that one hundred percent. If you want to give up all the other things by taking an entry level job and making fifty, and then sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, and then going all the way up, if you want to go on that route, if you want to give that up for the chance. Of going to the top, I we need those people. Yeah, because that's how every all great art is here because of those people. Yes, that's why I'm here. Mm-hmm. But the the benefits are that that's that you might not and then you, and you go I'm gonna doing it two years three years all right at at what age am I gonna stop the minor league baseball thing right right yep and some I'm gonna dudes give do this it until up. they're forty I'm gonna give this up mm-hmm. yeah and they still they have families or no some do yeah do. yeah they just don't make any money yeah. Like, it's just the game, but it's, it's again, it's choices. And you knew that though. Mm-hmm. You, if all the, it, would you go, would you go, it's, yeah, it's, would you cross the picket line for them? For who? The baseball players. If they were picketing for higher wages? Yeah. Yeah. You would join them? No, I'd probably cross the picket line. What's, wait, what's cross it mean? Support cross it, it or cross it, no, cross it means you're going to work. <laughs> You're not picketing with them. Oh, oh, you're leaving them. Yeah. Okay, you're leaving. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'd be like, no, you guys are ridiculous. We get, you know, 1,500 fans a night. Nobody's buying our jerseys. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, this looks like a WNBA game out here. Yeah. Yeah. Come yeah. on, John. Was the shot necessary? Yeah. No, it wasn't. <laughs> oh, man. So anyways, we, we sympathize uh, yeah, we, with the humans who want of fair wages, and you, you deserve them. And and the, and the Netflix, like, like I, I, we should be on the, the side, but we should be on your side, and we want to be. I think all of America wants to be. But I'll say too, I'm naive about the actual like yeah. bullet points that they're protesting for. Yeah. So forgive well, me for not knowing. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. The, yeah, I don't, yeah. But it's way funnier if we don't dive into it like that anyway. So yeah. forget it. No. <laughs> and let me also let me also make a distinction between stand up comedians and actors. Like, oh, we're all the same. We're not. Stand up comedians have their own thoughts. Mm-hmm. Actors have other people's thoughts in their heads. Ooh. I'm sorry. Interesting. That's what they're. It's in their. Now the writers are different. The actors have no thoughts. Mm. No thoughts of their own. They are paid to say the other person's thoughts that wrote the thoughts. Yeah. They don't. And then they speak on stuff and you're like, wait, what? What an interesting lifestyle. Yeah. And I like it. I like it. I like it. There's a lot of actors that I love. Yeah. And Sarah Zanotti. Who yeah. Is, that's, She's awesome. That's the purest actor like that's close enough to me that I know. Cool. That she doesn't, she is an actress. Mm-hmm. That's what she does. That's her job. Mm-hmm. I would support. I think she's one of the most talented people I know. Yeah, it's By an far. art. No question, it's an art. We'll get her in here and have her just. I would love it. that. I think she's amazing. I'm gonna call her. That'd be great. No, I'm not yeah, gonna no, call no, her. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, we love you. Yeah, I will call her next week. Uh, you want to get to an ad break and get to the news? Hit it. Oh, baby, Good Ranchers had it last night. Mm. Good Ranchers. You know what they got on the table tonight, baby? What's that, John? Prime pork. Oh. New offering from Good Ranchers, 100% American pork. That's steakhouse quality, baby. You might be thinking, I've never heard of prime pork before. Huh. Well, you know what? That's a problem. Mm. Prime pork has amazing marbling, just like prime steak. It's also 25% more tender than regular pork. If you're ready to experience pork and all the meat in its prime, it's time to give Good Ranchers a try. Talk about the kind of quality that will make you question everything you thought you knew about pork. What do you know about pork? I know it comes from pigs. True. Uh, that's about it. That's about it, yeah. Goodranchers.com. Change the way you buy pork, beef, and chicken today. It's goodranchers.com and explore their all-American cuts of prime pork, prime beef, and better-than-organic chicken options. If you tried their beef and chicken before, then you know it's amazing. You have to try this prime pork at least once, baby. Trust me. Let me just say this. Last night we had a uh, um, we had a piece I had a piece of that steak yeah we had two pieces of that steak yeah. and I go all right I was just talking I was like this is very simple like because we have been on vacation for like two weeks and I go I I gotta have a meal yeah. I gotta have a meal in here mm-hmm. I gotta have like a home we have gone out every meal yeah I got I just need I'm gonna do it my, so I put the two steaks out from Good Ranchers plug and then this I go it just felt I go all right here's all we need to do. We'll go Monday, burgers, yep. Tuesday, chicken, yep. Wednesday, steak. Now you can throw in Thursday, prime pork, and then do taco. Like, 
it's not hard. Full rotation, right? Full there. and 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 now go. That's all I need. It's yeah. like it's like the uh, the '95 Atlanta Braves. There you go. Steve Avery, Greg Maddox, Tom Glavin, John Smoltz. Smoltz is done. Back to Avery. Yep. You're good. I love that. I was, that was make a un- rotation. You were? It's perfect. It's yeah. a perfect rotation. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's and it. you're like, oh, we need to go to culinary school. And we, no. It, we had some green beans with it. And it, we like literally flavored it with butter. Yeah, you don't even need the bullpen. And garlic. And I put two pieces of bread. Yeah. I got two pieces of bread, put some butter on them, put them in the toaster, and then put some uh, garlic on there. And we had the garlic bread. Money. It's gas. What else could you possibly want out of a dinner? That's it. Use code net positive for $30 off your box at goodranchers.com. That's going to come to you. Put it in the freezer. Mm-hmm. And you go, oh, what are we doing for dinner? And I, oh, let me open this fridge. No the problem. Freezer. No I problem. got it. Now's the time to get American meat conveniently delivered to your door. Remember to go to goodranchers.com and use code net positive for $30 off your delivery of Americans, America's best beef, chicken, and now prime pork. Get that Deion Sanders pork, Love baby. That. that doesn't make any sense. Nah, but we'll uh, take it. All right. We, let's get to the news. Let's get to the... We, there's so much news. A ton of news. All sent in by the listeners, by the way. Yes, thank you. Uh, well, <laughs> okay. My DMs have gotten really fun. <laughs> yeah, Everybody dude. just blasting articles. They're like, dude, you gotta, see, yeah, you gotta see this. I let's go... It. Let's go with uh, we'll go we'll, get, we'll go Ben and Jerry's. Nice, <laughs> great choice, John. Great choice. All right. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to read it or you? You take it. Ben and Jerry's headquarters is on stolen Native American land. The Vermont Indian chief says. Basically, the backstory is uh, Ben and Jerry's. Okay, <laughs> Ben and Jerry's is very. Uh, we don't like the term woke around here, but progressive. Mm-hmm. Ben and Jerry's is very progressive. Like they're, um, they're, I was going to do a bunch of the progressive ice cream flavors, but I'm, I'm, I probably don't want to do that. <laughs> they go, uh, that's probably uh, not a good uh, idea. Praline protest is a <laughs> protest, <that's pretty> praline. <laughs> protest praline. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know what they don't have? What? Uh, they don't have uh, Rocky Road to Recovery. No, they don't. They don't have don't. that. Don't have they don't that. Do that one. No. They- <laughs> this- Can- canceled Caramel? No, I don't have. Oh, they got that. They got that one? They got the Canceled Caramel. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What else they got? They got the... Uh- Woke Watermelon? Oh, yeah, dude. They got all... These are these are all their flavors. So yeah. Ben and Jerry's is very... They're outspoken on uh, wars and, and all the movements that you're like, all right, uh, okay. And you're allowed to do that. Absolutely, yeah. You can do that. We brand. support that. Ben and Jerry, say okay. what you want. So they said, uh, they po- scroll down, you can find the tweet that they posted. So they posted I think a it's tweet. This one. They posted a tweet. Is it gone? Please, no. Please, make it stay. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. The 4th of July, Ben and Jerry's posts uh, The United States was founded on stolen indigenous land. This 4th of July, let's commit to returning it. This is from Ben and Jerry's official, official. Twitter account. The, the United States was founded on stolen indigenous land. On 4th of July, let's commit to returning it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> community notes say. <laughs> community notes. Despite Ben and Jerry's supposed commitment to returning the land they feel was stolen, they have yet to reach out to the tribe whose land their headquarters is on <laughs> and are trying to arrange the return of the stolen land. <laughs> <laughs> so they they built their headquarters on stolen land and, and then they bought it they, net, yeah, yeah it's in vermont it's in the united states announced that hey we uh we we hey think all stolen land should be handed back and, and then, then they, they heard they went, a, uh, hey excuse me hey somebody at the door it, yeah hello what, you want to get that yeah Is yeah it, uh uh yeah hi uh i'm i'm a member of the indian tribe mm-hmm. and this is our land I'm sorry. Do you know you're at Ben and Jerry's headquarters right now? No, no, no. I got that. I got that. I understand okay. that. But you remember that that tweet you posted on the Fourth of July? Yeah, you posted the Indigenous land with America was founded on that. Yes. you are them. So if I could just just grab the keys from you, <laughs> and I'll get out of here, and just all these employees just clear them out. So it's just so imagine imagine receiving that that email. Gosh, dude, that cites your tweet, and it's like, "Hey guys, saw your well, tweet." Yeah, <laughs> super quick. Yeah, super quick. It's just all right. Uh, that's it's that's 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 what I'm. <laughs> What's the timeline I, here? Did they did they tweet this before somebody reached out to them? 
Oh, someone's at the door again. Hold on, let me, let me get the door again. No, I don't have to do it again. <laughs> hey, super quick, we need this building. Yeah. We need all this building. Oh, that's like, uh, did you see that? You probably didn't see that. Uh, you want to read it? Ben and Jerry's added that the U.S. should start with Mount Rushmore. Okay. Bro, what? All right. Writing the faces. Also, that land is worth $1.50. <laughs> it's, in, it's in South Dakota. No one wants that land. Okay. It's worth $1.50. The faces on Mount, quote, the faces on Mount Rushmore are the faces of men who actively work to destroy indigenous cultures and way of li ways okay. of life. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. On Friday. Anyone's arguing. On Friday, Don Stevens, chief of the Nulhigi Band of the Kusik Abenaki Nation, one of the four tribes descended from the Abenaki who that are recognized in Vermont, Gosh. told the Post, New York Post, in an interview that he, quote, looks forward to any kind of correspondence <laughs> with the brand to see how they can better benefit indigenous people. Hey, He's just looking for anything. Hey, Just correspondence will, yeah, will be just, a good hey, start. You still have, hey, what's up? We like, think we have claimed to your entire, about? like, headquarters. Nice but like shell necklace. Cor yeah. <laughs> correspondence would be Yo, a good He's start. Indian. He's Indian. Yeah, he's for sure Indian. <laughs> yeah. That's unreal. Stevens added that if the ice cream maker is, quote, sincere, it should reach out to him as the company's corporate headquarters located at that address in Burlington, Vermont, is situated on Western Abenaki land. <laughs> That's the ultimate dunk. Dude. <laughs> That's the best. That is tough. That's like the, it, it's like the, it, you're, it's. That's a tough look. It's a tough look. It would be like Nike coming out against slave labor. Yeah. And you'd be look. like, hey. Uh, and I don't, that's, I, what? No, dude, I'll do you one better. Okay. It's, it's me drinking a bunch and working in church. And they go, we don't care if you drink and like make a bunch of poor choices, but you are up here. Mm. So that's what they don't, they didn't, they, no. But condemning it the whole, yeah, condemning yeah, yeah, it the yeah, whole yeah. time. I right, mean, yeah. I wasn't really, but I kind of was sure. by being there. Sure. Yeah. So they were like, hey, we got like, like, like somebody got to cancel, like, like they talked about this before about like something about like one of our favorite comics. They're like, we were like, he never said he was not that. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. I don't want to mention any names, sure. but like y you saying like no one has any problem with Ben and Jerry's having a factory. Of course, they help the economy. They they're good ice cream. We love it. Yeah, but when you say, and then that's where people have the problem. I hope that this uh, is a wake up call to brands who like to get involved yeah. in the political oh, stuff yeah. to be like, hey, hey, ch check your heart. Be careful. <laughs> be careful. Be yeah. You're like, allowed. We you're allowed to like like. Uh, we like their ice cream. Like once you, it's because you put yourself up on a pedestal saying you're condemning everyone else. Yes. Everyone else that owns a business or owns land in this country, you're saying you need to give it back. Yeah. And you're making us feel bad. And then somebody goes, can you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. Knock, knock. Hey, that's just, it's like the, there was a, um, by the way, all the land we're on is all the land. It all, <laughs> like we stole hey, hey, all of. By it. the way, all all of all the land. Yeah, all of all the all land. of all the land is yes. stolen. Yeah, or, right. or taken. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So and now I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and my thought is this: like, if you that's what you're gonna go after, like, if people do like protest for that, I'm like, do you, there's other like priorities for you, mm -hmm. like. I don't want to get think of that. how crazy it would be That's if they crazy, if they started dude. giving back land at scale like that. Yeah, that would be wild to who just to watch that happen would be yeah. crazy to be like, OK, yeah, actually, you displaced them hundreds of years ago. Well, and actually, then, you didn't. Your ancestors, yeah, ancestors yeah, yeah, displaced yeah. them hundreds of years ago. So y'all got to go. They're going to take it back. And but but who 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 that had it doesn't have it anymore actively living. Nobody in this country. Right. That had it and now no. doesn't have it. No. Unless the HOA come in and you didn't cut your grass and they <laughs> took your... I don't think that's even possible. No. You defaulted on your loan they took it. Sure. That nobody, so nobody living had it and doesn't have it. Right. In America. I cannot believe that they tweeted this. The, the, the community notes on that is just so they stellar. Yeah. The, so they tweeted this and then the tribe came up and was like, <laughs> we've been waiting for this day. Do you think they were all sitting around and they were like, waiting? Now's dude. the time. Oh, yeah. We have to I'm strike while it's hot. This. Oh, yeah. That's like the same. Well, I saw uh, somebody sent me this one. We're not covering it today, but uh, uh, somebody stopped a, uh, a pride parade with a, a protest about the environment. And they're like, which side? No <laughs> way. Ah! Yeah. yeah. They're, they're like, the left is like, which side? <laughs> Who do I side with? <laughs> it's good entertainment, dude. That's unbelievable. You want to get to the, uh, you want to go to the, um, the, I mean, I, I, the, um, wait, is the, is the, 
Oh, yeah, time blindness. Yeah. All right, this is a video. By the way, if you're a listener, if you're just a listener to this podcast, you're missing out on some quality stuff over on also, the video also, side, so go get on YouTube. Uh, I'll just say that establish this uh, video this girl has bangs. <laughs> I'll say that. I'll say that. I'll put my name on that. Volume, Andrew. I'll put my name on that. Uh, so I just got yelled at for asking a very reasonable question. So I'm applying to go somewhere, and I just wanted to know, are there accommodations for people who struggle with time blindness and being on time? You know. And then the person I was with, interrupted and acted like i was asking something else and then when we were done they actually started yelling at me and saying that accommodations for time blindness doesn't exist and if you struggle with being on time you'll never be able to get a job you know provided you're trying your absolute and then they're like your stupid generation wants to destroy right, the world it. lots of unpack we're only halfway through i'll let you start lord we come to you <laughs> in times like this Okay. <laughs> what? All right, we've we talk about things like this before. Time blindness. What was the uh, what was the one before? Oh, d- uh, the Brad remember. Pitt. Yeah, is this <laughs> worse than the Brad Pitt facial recognition <laughs> thing? Where he I don't recognize people. I don't remember faces. How, I want to do a Displasia bit. Dysplasia. I want to do called. a bit about like you know they used to have world's strongest man. Yes. I want to do world's weakest man. Nice. So like it just somebody goes. uh that would write itself. I can't, I don't, I can't, uh, I got this allergy. I got this allergy. I got this allergy. I can't, I got this emotional disorder. I they're just like, just keep <laughs> fighting for the weakest person on earth. What's and, the ultimate Trump card there? I mean. What's the, the ultimate, I'm the weakest. I'm the weakest. Every, I saw one about this guy was trying to go, he was trying to get diagnosed with, uh, he was like the spokesperson for ADD. Mm-hmm. And like, cause he's like a, a very like progressive, he's like on telling all kids, here's what ADD. And then he went and he's like, I don't have it. And he was bummed. He was like, <laughs> he was like sad. He's like, at least I have autism. And he got off to, he's like, it's not a complete loss. He settled for autism. Yes, he's like, people were like trying, going out there yeah. and looking. I had perfect example. I had a, phys, I had a physical yesterday, mm-hmm. like a yearly. And I got my blood drawn and they, you know, they do like, 10 different things, right? Yeah, I'm due for mine, too. Yeah, the, what, and they go, hey, like, open your mouth, uh, d- d- do your muscles, do your heartbeat, do your blood pressure, check around your stomach, deep breath. They go, all right, you're good, you're good. Yep. And I was like, uh, I want to, like, because I heard about guys doing, like, blood work and, like, doing more. He's like, my general practice doctor, which we say what you want. He goes, dude, if we go hunting around, we'll find something. Mm-hmm. He's like, how do you feel? I go, great. He goes, all right, see ya. See yeah. you next year. Nice. He's like, we. If you want to go look for something as to why you can, we'll find something. Yeah, I, we'll find something. Yeah. He's and like, I'd love to write you prescriptions. Don't yes, get me wrong. He goes, that's like, how I make money. Money from. He's us. like, are you depressed? Are yeah. you sad? Do you, can we like? What can we? He's like, how do you feel? I go, great. He goes, see ya. Yep. Thanks for coming. Yeah, we can go look for something if you want. Yeah. So it's, this girl's looking for something. Yeah, I like. Sometimes I struggle like concentrating. I was like, maybe I have ADD. I should go get a test. What? Sure. You get, what? Okay, so this girl is now... It's. It, I feel bad on one hand because she's just like trying to make TikToks. Yeah. And then she gets just crushed by yeah. the entire internet. But that's the nature of... This is not a... This is not a uh, the internet's not... They don't force you to make videos. The market's always right. The market... Yeah, they, it'll correct itself. Yep. You put this out. You yeah. put this out and wanted everybody to watch it and they watched it. Yep. So here we are. Yep. Okay, first of all, let's go back to the beginning. Okay. She says... I was a, 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 the first, no one, I think I've seen a bunch of commentary on this. I haven't seen anybody. What's their first sentence? So I just got yelled at for asking a very reasonable question. Wait, keep going. So I'm applying to go somewhere and I just Pause. wanted to know. What? Wait, I'm what? I'm applying to go somewhere. Wait, hold on. What is it? What? Wait, 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 wait. What? Go where? If, right. you're, if you're going on a vacation, you don't have to apply. Right. You just go. Right. You just pay and go. Right. If you're applying for a job, that's not a job. Right. So what, where? Where? I'm applying to go somewhere. A camp? Where are you going? Where would a, where are you applying to go somewhere be? A camp? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I uh, guess. It's got to be a, a retreat center, uh, an experience of some sort. So it's not a job. But she's saying she has time blindness. Yeah. Are there, she's asking, are there accommodations for people with time blindness? Okay, I'll ask you this. Uh, she's going to get on a flight. What if your flight's late? 
Well, are there accommodations for time blindness? No, Answer the question, John. Uh, no, no, no. There's not accommodations for anything. There's not accommodations for anything. Yeah. There, and, and also, if her flight's delayed an hour, she's going to be pissed. Yeah. This is the most absurd thing I've ever heard. Is there Are there accommodations for time blindness, a.k.a. tardiness? Yeah. Hey, how about order, hey, order Uber Eats? And if, and wait and see if that person comes two hours late to bring your lunch. I let me know how you feel. I would argue that. Let me know how you feel. Time blindness doesn't exist if you can see a clock. <laughs> and if you can see a clock, you're not blind. No. So the only excuse for time blindness would be blindness. Yeah, blindness. <laughs> blindness exists. You don't know if yeah. it's day or night because yeah. you can't see the sun. Yeah. You can't see a clock. I want to know blindness is blindness. I want to know. I want to have know what people with blindness feel about this. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, hey, same. Yeah. Same. Yeah. I struggle too. Yeah. So I, I'm blind too. Mm-hmm. Oh, you are? Oh yeah. Well, well, with time, I just can't. Yeah. But hey, <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say that, uh, once that time hits 5 PM, pretty punctual. Yeah. Pretty. <laughs> Pretty punctual. I can see it now. Yeah. I can see, you know what? It takes time. Yeah, she's t- seeing herself out. Oh, at 5 I can PM. see. Oh, yeah. seeing <laughs> yourself directly to the car. Yeah. Yeah. At 5 p.m. I would also bet, too. She said, I got yelled at. I guarantee you she wasn't you getting didn't. yelled at. You didn't. Guarantee you. No one would yell at you because no one knows what this is. Yeah. No one's ever heard of yeah. this. And you're blind, not deaf. So if they're so, not going to yeah. yell. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Dude. If someone said, I can't. If someone came in here, uh, uh, let's say, let's use Andrew. Let's use Andrew. Andrew said, I can't come. T- uh, we start the pod at 10. Mm-hmm. Or we, we come in at th- I can't come. And he comes in 30 minutes late. And we go, dude, where have you been? Mm-hmm. And he goes, I have time blindness. I would not yell. Yeah. I would not. I would not I, that would be 10 things down on the list. Yeah. I would just be incredulous. <laughs> I would put my head in my hands. I would cry. I would do a lot of things before I would yell. I would say, uh, that's funny because I have payroll blindness. Yeah. yeah so that's, a, that's weird. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> All of a sudden, time bl- th- these are the same type of people that are, that are uh, these are the actors at, at protesting. You think so? At the same, same time, she's she's protesting for uh, for people. time blindness. She's yeah. also protesting for the writers. Yeah. As a writer. Type, yeah. yeah. I mean, for, it's tough. Hey, we need the script by five. Time blindness. Yeah. It's going to be in next Monday. Yep. Well, the Oscars uh, already passed. Time blindness. Bro. Time blindness is tell you want to watch the rest of it. She, she. I mean, honestly, not even really. Yeah. Like she just she goes on to kind of just talk about like how like how bad the people are for upholding this culture mm. and like keeping her down. Yeah, dude. Man. She's keeping this woman down. Here, I'll play her a little bit more. Yeah. And yeah, I think that a culture where workers are just cut <laughs> off because they struggle with being on time. When there's other solutions that we can look to, I think that just anybody who thinks it's okay to just treat people like that, yeah, that culture needs to be dismantled. Mm-hmm. I, my question is, culture, yeah. what are your other solutions? Yeah. I'd be curious to hear. Just I don't like it. having to be on time either. Yeah. Now I might be on board. Yeah. But what are you doing to fix We're, here, here, what here we the are. solution? The, this dismantling of the culture mm-hmm. is a typical, like, we have no solutions. Yeah. We just don't like this. What it is now isn't good enough. Yeah. So well, tell us. Tell us. Yeah. Like, I would say... I'm all ears, by the way. I'm all ears. Like, yeah. I would say capitalism is, like, there There are some, like, if, if like, I saw the, the lady that works, that owns Walmart, and I'm pro-Walmart. Yes, I I'm saw I'm very this. pro-Walmart. Yep. I'm uh, from, they're from Bentonville, Arkansas. They, uh, she has, like, a, like, $7 billion, and, like, maybe some of the minimum wage work. Like, I could see the other side. Yeah. I'm very pro-capitalism. Yep. But I can see that that she has a boat in Ibiza and, like, some people that work at Walmart can't afford. I I see that. I get it. Yeah. Conceptually, I get it. Conceptually, I get it. And yeah. that's capitalism. Yep. And then if there's a mom and pop uh, uh, drugstore that's now out of business because Walmart came in town, I get that. Mm-hmm. I get that. What's your what's your what's your alternative? Right, to, uh, present a case. Yeah, and I'm I'm with also we can abolish clocks if you can present yeah, a good yeah, case. Yeah, we'll like, do it. Fine. We'll do it. But yeah, like, this bring is our a case system now. Like, let's see it. Yeah, I have. Yeah, if we if you go, hey, John, you got to pay. I mean, I got to pay a lot of money in taxes. You're like, John, you got to pay more money in taxes to like. Uh, you're like, all right, I could I could see that, mm-hmm. but where? Where? What's your better plan? Right. You this, tell me. This person in the comments goes set 
dot 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 alarms question mark <laughs> I think the, the the biggest thing is that people that think that the world is going to make accommodations for them. Yes. And it's not. Nope. It's not. And the, remember that, you see that TikTok, it's like, hey, no one's coming for you. Mm -hmm. You remember that one? Mm -hmm. No one's coming for you. Yep. No one's coming to rescue you. No one's coming to bail you out. No one's coming for you. What is, can you find that? Yeah. Find that, look it up. No one's coming for you. It's like audio. It's like a famous, it's like it, it might be from, no one's coming. What is that? Uh, no one's coming for you. Audio, uh, soundbite. Maybe something like that. Yeah, soundbite. No one's there. It is Mel yeah. Robbins. Yeah, is that it? This is probably it. No one's coming to push you. Yep. No one's coming to tell you to turn the TV off. No one's coming to tell you to get out the door and exercise. Nobody's coming to write the business plan for you. It's up to you. It's your job to make yourself do the crap you don't want to do. So you can be everything that you're supposed to be. And you're so damn busy waiting to feel like it. And you're never going to. You've got to parrot yourself. You've got to push yourself. Great job, Mel. I don't know anything about you besides the 30 seconds I just watched, but I like you. This is just turning into like a Gary Vee episode. Yeah. I mean, but... <laughs> that, it, it, but it, you, you think that girl thinks that we're all surfing, having a good time with no... like and and. It, we're not. No. We are in the same. I got to get up. I don't, I don't want to work out yesterday. I, wanna, I don't want to do any of these things. Right. You're like, I mean, time blindness. Time blindness. Is the craziest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. That's a good one. Thanks for whoever put, found that on the internet, Stellar. You get to, uh, we'll get to one more. Where do you want to go? And then we'll, hit, uh, then we'll hit the emails. You tell me. Uh, well, we can do the Amish. Cool. This I, we have to do this one, actually, because I need you to actually tell me if it's real. Okay. We're because gonna... I, I cannot believe this. I'm beside right. myself. All right. All right. All right. L new study finds zero Amish children diagnosed with cancer, diabetes, or autism. Period. Period. What? Period. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let me just read the first. because All right. All right. In a new comprehensive study presented by VSFR founder Steve Kirsch, uh, who was on to, been very active on Twitter this week, to the Pennsylvania State Senate, calculated that for Amish children who strictly 100% who is strictly 100% unvaccinated, uh, go to the right a little bit. That's it. Oh yeah, typical chronic conditions barely exist, if not at all, across the American current population. The Amish is quickly approaching 400,000. So okay, they're, they're growing. Yeah, are they? I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. All right, the largest concentration of Amish citizens is 90,000 in Pennsylvania and 82,000 in Ohio. Amish communities have settled as many, 32 states. Um, they almost have an average of seven, seven kids. kids. The Amish population is growing rapidly. Average of seven kids. All right. Well, some, the, the main pushback on it is like, yeah, because they don't go to the doctor. Mm-hmm. Oh, so they're so it's not that they're not sick; they're just not getting diagnosed. That's what the that's what the other side of this is. God, but it. he said he goes. I went. I I I. We talked to everyone. We 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 did all the research. These are all documented. It's all he presented it to Senate uh, under oath. Wow. And this uh, it's my these are my people. Yeah. Me. This is me and Jemima's people. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I like. I can't believe this. If this well, is. Okay, well, the, people were saying the, 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 to, to correlate it into the vaccinations is a little risky. Yeah, that's, yeah, that, that's, that's agenda, obviously. There's but. a million other things, but they're like, think about it, dude. You're born on a farm. You eat the, eat the food that's on the farm. Mm -hmm. You stay on the farm. Yeah. You play with your brothers on the farm. You run around barefoot. That's the way we were supposed to live. This one, yeah, this is interesting. It says 90% of the Amish have been affected with, uh, infected with COVID. Yep. But also death rates from COVID among Amish communities are 90 times lower than the rest of America. Yeah. Okay, 90% of Amish have been affected with COVID. So, so they got gotten, something going on. Yeah. Well, I think, I think the, point, the point is, if you're like, all right, they got, they're doing something right over there. Yes, clearly. You could say that you might, you could debate these facts, right? Or you could say, sure. oh, maybe, but they, and that's what I've been saying the whole time about the Amish. That's the whole time. Like, say what you want, but they got say something what you going want. on. Yeah, and when you go out to hang out with them, there's no police there. No one's stealing anything. They're very, they run, they run the communities by themselves. Yeah. And that's what, that's what everyone, that's what you need in the country. 
According to the VSRF study, not one single Amish child could be found who had suffered from cancer, autism, heart disease, or other conditions that are on the rise among American children. They have perfect kids. Not one. They're probably not perfect. Not one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they probably steal. What does an Amish kid do? What's a bad Amish kid do? Smuggle an iPhone into the community. No, no. He's, he's like stealing berries out of the thing. Yeah. Like he's like milking. Maybe he's milking the cows and then he's like stirring up a little chocolate in there. Nice. Or something like yeah. that. I'm trying to think of like an Amish kid. Yeah. What's the punishment? What's the weird punishment for that one? Oh, man. You got to, if you, if the girl shows a little bit of ankle, <sighs> she goes out to the barn raising, shows a, or she wears the wrong color bonnet or something like that. Yeah. Maybe they got to cut her hair. Oh. And now you know, everybody knows. <laughs> it's like scarlet. That's leather. crazy, dude. And I think, I think a lot of parents, I think a lot of parents are like, all right, we can't like just taking away the TV, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, it's hard to do taking away the kid's iPads. It's hard to be like, all right, there's, there's gotta be the, the way of life of a child might be something closer to that. Yeah. Not that I, you can't, nobody can do that. No, but, but I think, everybody thinks they're silly is right. what I'm saying. Right. Everybody thinks they're silly. Look at their outfits. They're a horse and buggy. Mm -hmm. And then you go, cause like if you're Amish, you got a farm, right? And you go, well, if you, you know how to farm this land. You have all the knowledge. What if you quadrupled this land, got a tractor? Mm -hmm. Then what? Well, then you could farm and you could be... Scale up the production. Yeah, and for what? So you Money. could be... Yeah, for what? Right. It keeps... You know... Right, right, it, right, right. Yeah, for what? You keep moving the goalposts. Yeah. Yeah. So what if you get four... You get, you get... What if you get 100 acres and then you got a tractor? What they're saying is we reject the the where y'all are going where yeah. the rest of us are going well we got to get well you i have a podcast uh we get whatever the download let's double it mm -hmm. for what right well um yeah it would be more money yeah okay for what well we could get better gas for what well we could right yeah where does it what all right what yeah, do we it doesn't end if you don't want it to end yeah, no, and look at the look at somebody with a with a yacht in Ibiza. Yeah, they're going. Well, we got to get a look at freaking Jeff Bezos. Yeah, look at his yacht. Yeah, we got to, and you you are your whole life is living. It's like turning into a sermon. Yeah, this whole episode. You like they, they, all right for what? Uh, uh, and they're saying at the end. All you, everybody on their deathbed has their family, right? Mm -hmm. And they have their health and their family and their loved ones and hard work. And they go, we got that. Yeah. They've mastered the art of being content. Yeah. We're good. And we, some of them. We got what we need. Yeah, we, we got have it. our people. We, we got have food. Our food. We and, have our and if some, yes. land. Yep. Like, we're good. And all our community. We mm -hmm. all play volleyball and tetherball and, at nights. And, yeah. it, and if somebody wears a tank top, we'll get her out yeah <laughs> we'll know. never speak with yeah. them again yeah, yeah I, I don't agree with that i don't agree with that part of it yeah but you go well what, well yeah this somebody has like some principles and like some some uh, a guide which they live their life i respect yeah that. that's all i'm saying and i bet yeah i've been on the on the side of the amish i think since day one speaking of this weekend i'm going to see him that's right yeah the elkhart county fair let's i forgot go, about dude. that yeah. baby i'm going to the amish i'm going to the amish i'm going to the land of the amish mm -hmm. Goshen, Indiana, this weekend. Hattiesburg next weekend, and then uh, September we got a full run, baby. Oklahoma, that's like I'm off for like a month and a half. Yeah, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Wichita, Springfield, then no uh, Canada, Ottawa, Peterborough, London, Myrtle Beach, Roanoke, Virginia. October we're going to Greensboro, Atlanta, Birmingham, Cedar Rapids, Springfield, and Evansville, Indiana, bro. We out here. Mm -hmm. Should we get to the reason why we started this pod? I think we should, but I think first we should uh, oh. just get a quick word from a new sponsor. Oh, a new sponsor. Welcome aboard. We're happy to have you. What we've been doing for the last hour in our native <laughs> uh, our native tongue. Yes. Babel, ladies and gentlemen, the second best way to learn a language. The best way to learn a language is through immersion. Yeah. I can tell I can say that is 100% factually true. Living where the language is spoken natively and using it every day. But that's not possible for everyone. No, mm. it is not. We live in Nashville, Tennessee, and we speak southern dialect of the United States of English. So what's the second best way to learn a language? Babel. Because with Babel, you can start speaking a new language in just three weeks. Oof. One in five Americans have, have learned a new language on their bucket list. Oh, everybody's going to do that during COVID. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. 
If that's you, check it off the list this summer with Babbel. Because with Babbel, you start speaking a new language in three weeks. Oh, yeah, this summer you can start speaking a new language with Babbel. Why Babbel? Because it works. Instead of paying hundreds of dollars for a private tutor or fooling around with language apps that are more that are like, um, uh, like little games, Babbel, quick 10-minute lessons are designed by over 150 language experts to help you start speaking a new language in three weeks. How, how long would it take you to learn a new language, John? How many weeks? Three. Oh, wow. Three weeks, yeah. Alex. <laughs> three weeks. Yeah. I, I would say this is good for, uh, who is this good for? Influencers mm -hmm. that are going to, where do they go these days? Mykonos? Yeah, you can't go to Tulum anymore. You get kidnapped by the cartels. Uh, Tulum's out. So Tulum's not. Yeah, yeah Tulum's out. There's a couple influencers that are like this. They are all going to these places yeah. that are that are not in America. Yeah. Yeah. I think you said Ibiza earlier. Ibiza. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. That's a good one. What if you go to a place that's like unbelievable, beautiful, but like no one's ever heard of it? You're like, oh, what's the point of this? Right. You get no clout. Yeah, you need the that. name. Yeah, you got Turks be. and Caicos. Oh, big. What language do they speak there? Turks. Wherever you're going, you can and probably, Caicos. yeah, Turks and <laughs> Turks e Caicos. Okay. Yeah. With over 10 million subscriptions sold, Babbo's the real language learning for real conversations. And here's the special limited time deal for our listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off. That's the, probably the biggest one we've ever had. Mm. Your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash net. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com slash net. Get 50% off, 55% off babbel.com slash net spelled babbel slash. Oh, that's just, that's that you don't have to put in a code. It's just a different URL. Yeah, that's right. right. Yep. Yep. B-A-B-B-E-L.com slash net, N-E-T. We were down in Honduras. Rules and restrictions. Made the I would, I would <laughs> say that this is a, uh, yeah. <laughs> we were down in Honduras and I just started, I just went into the market and I just started speaking. I just started saying stuff. Yeah. I know a little bit of Spanish. How'd it go? Fine. Nice. I figured it out. That's what I think this is. Yeah. Is that you just got to. They're saying that's the best way to do it. And the second the best, best way. way is babble. Yeah. Yep. And just get, you're like, I, I would, I would catch my, like, I would catch myself on like certain words that I needed, but the same in English. Right. You're like it. You communicated the general idea right. of where, hey, we need uh, water or vamos to the... You, you, you can't get, really get specifics because you don't know the extent of the language. Right. But you can get yourself around. And I would I would say I also this. with Babbel, that's where you do dive into the vocab and everything like yeah. that too. So like yeah, you yeah, do yeah. get those injections yeah. of words that you know you're missing out on. Yeah. You get them through Babbel. And the first best way to do it is, como se dice? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Como se dice? Phone. <laughs> phone. Oh, phone. Okay, got it. Yeah. Oh, no. Let's get to the, uh, what do you want to go? We got emails, man. Oh, yeah. We got the most emails we've ever gotten in the history of the pod this we week. We got all the emails. Let's and... go to, uh, all right. Set it up. Okay. Because we were talking about last week. How did it start? The embarrassments? The first one. So the embarrassments started Oh, and y'all came up with a couple of them. Maggie and I were having a chat on the beach. Yeah. And we were talking about... Uh, she reminded me of actually the it, one example that uh, it yeah. started with. And yeah. it was, we walked onto the sand on the beach. The beach is packed. Yeah. We have to find a spot on the beach. Yeah. And what a loser. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. So then we have to put ourselves down, set our st umbrella. Oh, up. you have the stuff. We have You're the just stuff. Looking we got to set up a spot and like setting up a spot. Both of us felt like really self-conscious about it for absolutely no reason. No like reason. As if we were being judged on how we Everybody were. else was already there. Yes. And everyone's, we like, everyone's yeah. looking, obviously. like What know, a loser. They're not. No, they don't they're care. They're not. But in my head. And people have been watching. doing that all morning. And so that feeling <laughs> is about that. embarrassing, embarrassments yes, that yeah. you shouldn't be embarrassed by. Yeah. That's what all these emails are about. And then we got the Similar most emails scenarios. on earth. Yes. I have. I had a couple. Okay. Let's what? run through yours. All right, let's go. I, I wrote down a couple this week. I think once you notice the feeling, like There's talking like about it, of them. you start to realize it during the day, and it's yeah. hilarious, I think. And I, we got a lot of emails about this. Yes. Uh, walking out of a store in the mall without buying. Nice. Yes. Why are you embarrassed yes. by that? You, you have to buy something? You didn't want anything. I didn't want anything. But I, I thought I, that, uh, that's the store. It's like, hey, we have stuff. Mm -hmm. You walk in there. I might want some stuff. I looked around. I don't want any of this stuff. That's why it's called shopping, not buying. Yeah. You're just shopping. And then you just got to like somehow like, here's what you have to do. Here's what I do. Yeah. Is you walk into the store, shoe store, let's say clothing store, Zara, Foot Locker, whatever. Look around. You get all the way to the back. Yeah. On the men's side. Yeah. You don't like it. Instead of going, whoop, and you look back towards the door and then try to sneak out. <laughs> That's what I do. 
<laughs> so unnecessary. So dude. unnecessary. Dude, For just what? leave. For what? Yeah. Just leave. You didn't see anything you wanted. Leave. I wanted to come. I wanted to want something. Right. I wanted to buy something. Right. Because I think of that. What's the core value there? Be poor. Sure. Core value is that's what it's getting all the way down to. Is mm-hmm. poor. Right. Yep. And yeah. On the other hand, that I feel that way if I go into like a big, like a Foot Locker, like a big chain, right? Yeah, They're yeah. A, a massive organization. Right. I don't feel bad about not giving them money. You ever done yeah. it in like a mom and pop type oh, type scenario? Yeah. That to me is like, feel bad. I feel like I'm telling them nothing in here is good enough for me. I don't support and you. And I'm walking out I'm with my nose you. in the air. Like, oh yeah. That's a great point like too. I get that in a it's different. Somebody's better than somebody else. Yes. Yeah. It's like, you didn't please me. None of this like things a, that, please yeah. me. That's a, uh, away with you. <laughs> yeah. Away yeah. with you. That's like a, that's a big, like a, <laughs> like a flea market or yep. like they're trying to sell these wares. You would say yeah. they're, and they're sitting right behind the table. And that person's livelihood is Based, based on, on that, you that's buying a great or point. not buying. At Foot Locker, they're getting paid. They, they don't, don't care. care. Yeah. Now there is like, hey, can I help you with something? And you're like, I'm out of here. Yeah. That's they like, got yeah. time blindness. They're showing up late anyway. Think, so it doesn't matter. You I know? think if you commit to, I think if you commit to a uh, a try on, you got to come out with something. <sighs> yeah. Do you? Yeah, Andrew says no. I mean, you don't. But like, yeah, you don't. You, but there's the feeling though. Because they guy, try something on and didn't yeah, like it, and, and you're gonna leave it now. No, try a bunch of things on, didn't like any of it. Yeah. I come out, I will take this shirt or like, yeah. You're embarrassed. They go, hey, can I help you with something? No, I'm just, what? I'm just looking around. Yep. You, yeah, because I just walked in here right. 30 seconds ago. Yeah, I, I don't know what I want either. I'm at the mall. I haven't seen anything I'm yet. I'm unemployed. Yeah. I'm at the mall. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Walking out of the of the mall store without buying anything. That's a great one. Uh, going to the bathroom on a plane. Yes, dude. Nice, dude, bro. Dude, nice. I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, we all do that. Everyone here goes to you, the bathroom. Have you heard of that? Right. I have to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you don't, people don't want to sit at the window because they don't want to have to get people up yep. to go to the bathroom. Yep. Now, I would say if you're crushing beers on a flight, right? That's, I'm trying to think of where that would be like, dude, really? And you go to the bathroom three times. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. But I've never experienced that. I've been flying my whole life. I never experienced that. No. So you go for it to be overkill. It yeah. would have to be so many. Dude, I've if to, to be I've held it for I've almost peed my pants. Same. Sitting in the window cuz I don't want to Dude, and have you ever been somebody says I got to go to the bathroom been mad at them? No. Never, no. dude. Never. Uh-uh. I got to go to the bathroom. I've been asleep got, and woken up so they could get by me. And I'm yeah. still like, yeah, I understand. Sorry. All good. Like yeah. I am my bad. Are you like, "Hey, do you tap you tap hey, do you mind if I Yeah, all yeah, good. Of course. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Sorry for sleeping. No problem. Yeah. I'll, on top of that, I'll piggyback uh, at a sporting event, trying to get into the aisle to I your seat, go. out yeah. of your aisle to your seat, like going to concessions, trying to get back into the aisle. Like, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse do, me. And then they like, do they move or they stand? Right. Or what are they? Yeah. yeah they you don't want to yeah. to the side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got to, I got to. Bad move, by the way. Stand up, right? Like that's. Stand up. You got to stand, stand, up, stand yeah. up and we can pass by stand each other. Stand up. Maybe like the, like, have you ever been to Red Rocks in Colorado? Yeah. That's those. Yes. Those aisles are like, they're like 10 feet. Yeah. Cause they people like, like, that's the only time you don't have to stand. No, definitely. Get up. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta. Yeah. Hey, and also if there's seats one through 20 and you have 10, you're going at either. Either way. And if you're, I've sat on the, I've sat on the aisle and it's nice, but you got to get up every two seconds. Yep. And if you sit in the middle, you never have to get up for anybody, but right. you might have to get up once. Yep. So. What catch twenty two? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. That's a really good one, bro. The airplane one. Or uh, so, yeah, especially things about like related to your like your body. Yes, it's like that I are completely universal. We're yes. all doing that. I don't know my body. Yeah, I my this is how my body. Like you said last week, like lifting something. Yes. Yeah, I'm not strong. Yeah, just it, or at some point, everyone's strength is not enough. Yeah, you can lift a car off yeah. a baby. Everybody's not strong enough <laughs> somewhere. Yeah. I can't lift this it. This is just my, I found my threshold in front of you. I can't Deal lift with it. it. <laughs> I can't lift it. <laughs> There's nothing I can do right now to lift this. I'm I not understand. strong enough. No, I'm not weak. No. I just can't lift this washer yes. and dryer. I'm weaker than it takes to, to lift this. So what? <laughs> Get another guy. Yes. <laughs> That's a other good ones? one. Do you have more? Um, these are so good, dude. I can't wait to get to these emails. I haven't read them yet. <laughs> oh, this one happened to me. Okay. This happened to me specifically. We were in church. Yep. I was holding Lydia's Bible. Mm-hmm. All right. I just thought of another one. Keep going. Okay. You just probably go on the same. She had like, she was taking notes or like she had a nice coffee or she just had a lot. So I was holding the Bible. Yeah. We were in the book of Daniel. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
the book of Daniel, and then he goes. <laughs> he goes Daniel or the pastor? Uh, well, yeah, well, nice, dude. The pastor yeah. goes, turn to the book of Mark, and I turn the wrong way. <laughs> Dude. Such a specific Christian. Loser, dude, he doesn't know the Bible. I turned there because Daniel is in the Old Testament. Yeah. Mark is in the New Testament. I should have turned right. Yeah. And by I somehow thought Daniel, that story is very recognizable. I don't know what happened. It feels New Testament. It feels like a New <laughs> Testament story. So I turned back right. in the book. Towards Genesis. And what was going on in my mind? Because we sit with our group. Yeah. Everybody. Loser, <laughs> dude, doesn't know the Bible. Oh, not even Christian going to hell. Bro, doesn't that's un- such a good one. And like, no one, no, dude. I mean, if Lydia would have done it, and I would, I would have roasted her. Right? For that. Yeah, because it's funny. Yes, I turned on accident, but I, dude, how quick did you realize? Immediately, yeah. and then I got, uh, and I looked around to see if anyone saw me. <laughs> Which is absurd, dude. That's such a good one. That is absurd. Oh, man. Yeah, not knowing the Bible among yeah. Christians is... Uh, bro, you don't know where that is. Oh, oh, you got mm. tabs? Oh, you got tabs on your Bible, bro? Yeah. Oh. oh There's that, that's, probably, that's probably with every like uh, uh, group. Yeah. Every culture of... Yeah. Oh, you don't know the... Definitely. Uh, the things that you need to be to yeah. do in this culture. Or like in sports, you don't know the rules. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. oh, dude, you don't know that? Oh, like what's like? How do we get a like a first down or a punt or yes. like why do they or like you don't why know what is a two it? two point conversion is? You don't know what that? No, yeah, yeah. I do, but yeah, <laughs> no, we're like we're like watching like hockey. Mm-hmm. I don't totally get it. Two line pass, they'll get it. No idea. I understand you guys. You guys are in this. These color shirts are going to this goal. These color shirts are going to this goal. Those goalies are trying to stop you from getting the puck in there. Got it. I am. I'm enjoying this. Play ball. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. I don't, what? What was that one? Yeah. <laughs> and there's a guy. There's a guy with like a like a check. Like a you want to ask him? Yeah. You're like he's gonna think I'm a loser. Yeah. No, he probably would love to explain. Mm-hmm. He would probably love to explain. Yeah. It to you. And we got hundreds of those. Bro, that's so good. You want to get into? Yeah, a let's do the first one. Oh no, I can't wait. Oh, oh, that's a big one. I can't wait to see how many of these I relate to. And okay. Uh, and we'll keep these anonymous as always. All right. So I'm probably one of the older listeners to the show, but no shame. I have four kids, ages seven through 19. No shame. So I can also speak to ridiculous amounts of graduations we have attended as well. Yeah. Uh, No one likes all those things except those sad parents whose whole personal worth is wrapped up in their kids. Shots fired up top. Yeah, a lot of strays going on. Uh, A lot of strays. (laughs) Don't don't get me wrong. I love my kids, but sitting through two hours of graduation ceremonies for the 15 seconds of my kid on stage is non-fun. Agreed. But embarrassed. When my oldest was a newborn 19 years ago, I went out on my first little errand, just me and him. We went to the bank to get money out of the ATM. No one remembers those. And we uh, had to uh, and we had to park and get out of the car to walk up to the ATM. Yep. Oh yeah. I park, get out, walk across, t- walk about twenty feet across the parking lot, and realize I'd left my newborn son in the car. Uh, parentheses. Whoa, what? I'm a new. I'm a new. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, right? like, this isn't going. I don't know if we're on your side anymore, sir. Parentheses. New dad. First trip with the kid. Okay. Never happened again. Sure. Cool. Got that. Well, there were a couple of other people in the parking lot who were certainly not paying attention to me, but when I realized I'd left my baby son in the car, <laughs> there was no way I was going to let them see me walk back to my car to get him out of the car oh. and then use the ATM. Oh, no way. Not just embarrassment, but maybe a 911 call would be involved, this being in Southern California. So many shots. So I, <laughs> so I calmly walked back to my car, got in, and drove away. <laughs> yeah. I w- this was a roller coaster one. I didn't know coaster. if it was going to be. This where this is one ab- was. yeah. This yeah. is absolutely one. Yeah. For what it's worth, this all took place over the course of about thirty seconds. So my son was fine. Should I have been embarrassed? Yeah. That, I mean, that's definitely a prime example. Yeah. Yeah. You changed. You just go your I'm, errand. I'm leaving because you were like, I can't. I cannot deal with that. And those people probably weren't watching. <laughs> oh, dude. No. And they also. It's twenty seconds. How are they going to know your kids in the car? Yeah. Leave the kid in the it's car. A, yeah, Go to the ATM. It's in a car seat. You can't yeah. see the kid. There's a lot. I bet there's a lot of just going to a new place. I'm just le- I'm just leaving. Yep. Because you don't want to. Well, with the ATM, you go. I don't. I, uh, I'm going to go back. Because have you ever seen that? Uh, it was like a study in New York where somebody got murdered, like on the street, and there's like a hundred people saw. Oh, this. It was a rape. Was I it? do know about this. Yeah, and yeah, nobody yeah. said anything. Yes, because everybody thought somebody else was gonna. Yeah, call. yeah. You go, and we've super famous psychologists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the '90s or yeah. something, '80s. Yeah, they, I think there was something. There's some similar when we go film 
we go film places and everybody goes, dude, are, is, is, uh, aren't you worried about, I go, I wish people, no one cares. No, nobody cares. No, nobody cares about anything that you are doing. Yeah. And look at the people on the internet. Look how far you have to go to get attention on the internet. Yeah. Say you have time blindness. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have to invent a disorder. To, to get attention, there's so many things. Yeah. You, if you live in the Amish community, all you have to do is throw two sticks together and build fire with a with a with a rock. Yep. And you can be like, dude, you got to come check this out. Yep. Out here, yep. You you got to do way more. Yes. To, you could put that baby on the top of your car. <laughs> And drive off and still no one would probably say anything. Yeah. They would probably go, oh, they're probably doing a prank. They probably know what they're doing. Yeah, whatever that is. They, they don't need to worry yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, they, they would. They know what they're doing. I'm, I'm trying to think of when I've gotten involved in something. Oh, dude. Publicly. Never. I don't think ever. Never. Mind your um, own business. Otherwise, ha- you're going to get yourself in I trouble. stopped a fight in Atlanta. This Oof. was post-COVID. I'm going to say it was 2021. That's dangerous, dude. Uh, I was waiting for, I was at the valet at the downtown Atlanta. It's not. Good. It's not, it's not, it's not going well down there. Yeah. Yeah. That's why all the baseball, they're like, we're moving to the suburbs. Yeah. Uh, it's not going well down there. Yeah. I was standing waiting for my car and I think it was a homeless guy and he was getting kicked by another homeless guy. I would imagine drugs were involved and it, but I go, well, there's a human being being kicked. Yeah. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do down here, but I can't let this happen. Yeah. I can't look at this and allow this. There's a guy to be kicked to death. I go, I'm, I got to. It was that bad. Yes. Oh, wow. But, he, but it was, it's, I went down there and I go, hey, and I didn't even get down there. I, maybe I, I, I go, hey, and then they separated. Yeah. But I, I'm, I'm literally, there's somebody, it's physical violence. Yeah. And, and also right in front of me. Right. While if my car would have pulled up, I probably would have got in my car. Yeah. Like the, I'm just, what I'm saying is it takes so much yes. to intervene today with everybody having cameras around, lawsuits. No one's saying anything to anyone. No. They're just. Mind my own business. Go man. the other way. Yep. Mind my own I, business. I'm just go the other way. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's the reality of, yep. of life. Yep. Nobody would have cared. That's a great one. That's a really yeah. good one. That your baby left in the car. And they just, he just left for 30 seconds yeah. and he needed money out of the ATM and said, I, whatever money I needed is not worth not the out. potential embarrassment here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gone. See ya. Here's the next one. Uh, I thought it was an embarrassing thing that should be embarrassing for me. I, when I'm scrolling through Instagram stories in public and there are people around me, mm-hmm. not exactly watching my phone, but they might glance down mm-hmm. and someone posted something like a butt pic mm-hmm. <laughs> or them in a bikini on their story. Sure. Or them swearing a bunch, I automatically swipe past it to make sure no one was looking. This is especially true at home when my family's <laughs> around. I don't know why I'm embarrassed. I didn't post it. Someone else did. That's a good one. I feel that one. I didn't post it. Yep. I didn't post it. Yep. And that's a girl. We, yes. We're, we're not giving away this person. Yeah. But she's like, these are her friends. Yeah. Or maybe it's her algorithm or I don't know. Sure. It's something you're like... I, what? I have a lot of friends who post very risque photos. Yeah. And I'm definitely conscious of going through my feed when I'm in public. Yeah, I kind of want to, yeah. The last thing I need is for somebody to be like, hey, do you see Alex yeah. Legos is <laughs> scrolling through yeah, you don't, when you don't bikini? Need, perfect example. <laughs> like, perfect example. Like uh, when you're, you're like a, uh, uh, like a, like a, um, like a Viagra commercial comes on. Nice, dude. And you're like, uh, 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 you're like, dude, it's not mine. Yeah. I don't, it's a commercial advertising or like a, uh, even uh, like a tampon yeah. or something. Something that's like, ugh, like you, like, you know, that we, that phrase, that offense is never uh, given, it's always taken. Right. Offense is always, you took offense. Right. No one tries, rarely is someone trying to offend you. You took offense from it. Yeah. Right. You took embarrassment from it. Yes. Yeah. I don't do the programming on these commercials. No. They just put this on. Yeah. They just <laughs> put it on. Yeah. me. No, the shame, the shame when, you, when people try to put the shame on you, mm-hmm. that's different. This is, embarrassment is, we're like, oh, everyone, everyone is like uh, trying to cancel me. You're like, no, they're not. Yeah. There's a couple of people that said some things on the internet. Yeah. They're not. They love you. Yeah. Oh, I'm taking, I'm giving power to the yes. embarrassment. Yes. Versus, is that true? Yep. No. Yep. I saw, I was sitting with someone and you saw a tampon or Viagra commercial or whatever. And you go, Ugh. Yeah. or like, <laughs> I went, went growing up super, super conservatively watching like a, a sporting event like the cheerleaders. Yep. And you're like, 
Any yeah, with your parent, you're watching with your parents. Yeah, anything even remotely sexual. Yeah, is like a oh god. But oh, you god. took it. Yeah, you're like I don't. It's not me. Right. I didn't go look for this. No. It just is there. Yeah. It's the Celtics game. Like, well, yeah. Like what they dance at timeouts? It just exists. Like, you know? What do you want? What? What? Beer, beer commercials yeah. in the 2000s. What? Bikinis everywhere. Really? You're like, well, I'm and just like here. I'm just here. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. That's all of these. That's it's like, oh, that now, like, like if you're, if you're, um, I'm trying to think of all these situations when there would be embarrassment. With you going to the beach, everyone's set up. Uh, yours. The wind comes, everyone else stays, yours blows down. Yeah. Okay. That's, a, and everybody laughs. Mm -hmm. That's embarrassment. Yeah. Or not, it's not really, but not but, really. Even but not that, even that. Yeah, is not even like, really. That could have happened to anybody. Yeah. If you, if I walk in and I trip over somebody's blanket yeah. and I pull up their whole picnic setup yeah. and there's sand now all over and, their stuff. And the girl's now, top comes off. Sure, or I'm just trying sure, to think of something. Sure, yeah, go extreme. It's yeah, extreme. Sure. Yeah, seagulls come down, steal their bag of food. You like, had all your yeah. Bud Lights all spilled. Yes. And now you don't have anything. Yes. Even then, maybe. Yep. Because you didn't trip on purpose. Right. These are my legs. Everybody trips. Yeah, what? So we can't even invent I'm trying a to, real embarrassment I'm trying to scenario. think of a real embarrassment. If you trip on the dance floor, mm -hmm. you're like, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, I, what? We're all human. Yeah. We all if, I make, if I make a video that's not, that doesn't, it fails. Yeah. All right. Wasn't trying to do that. Right. I like, I, I'm, I'm pretty good at this formula of making videos. This one didn't go. Yeah. Okay. Happens. Everybody's in making fun of you. No, I doubt it. No. I doubt it. No. They're like, when's the next one? They already scrolled. They scrolled down to the next thing. Gosh, this is so good. Let's dude. get another this one. This is so encouraging. Hi, gentlemen. I coach 12U softball. This could also be a tire pump, it says. <laughs> nice. My embarrassing nice. thing is having to run behind home plate smack dab in front of the crowd from our dugout on the first baseline to my coaching box on okay. third base. <laughs> <laughs> I should not find this embarrassing, but I do. During this time, I feel like the spotlight is on me and everyone is watching me. I I coached at, yeah, uh, when yeah. I first moved down here, so I, I've yeah, done yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Once I am there, I feel safe and secure within my box. <laughs> In reality, I doubt anyone is watching me. They're no, more worried dude. about watching their kids, but I yeah. still can't shake the embarrassment. All right. That's a really good so one. So everyone's sitting behind home plate, kind of right. in like, not in major leagues, but in like high school 12 or whatever. Yeah. You got to run from third... For if you're dug out on first base, every inning, yep, down. You can't walk. You need it's faster. It's a jog. That, everyone runs out, so you jog. Yep, and everybody's saying it did. Jogging as an adult might be one period. Yeah, just, just jogging as an adult, like through the airport. Yeah, that's that's one. You that's a good one. Yes. Yeah. Why wow. are you embarrassed by that? Right. That's a good one. You're like, hey, a thousand things could have happened. My fault or not my fault. Right. Lead me and the your your connection. They I'd have been late. They switched the gate. Yeah, and minute. I'm running because I want to go to my brother's wedding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a loser. Yeah, he needs me. Why, why, am I, why am I embarrassed by this? Yeah. I'm going. You don't have to explain that Gosh, to anybody. I wish I could just rid myself of this. Dude. That's a great one. He, oh, he goes, I haven't read the rest of this yet. Another one is crossing the street when a car has stopped and is waiting on oh, you. Yeah, that, that's, a good, that's jogging. Yes. You go... He goes, you can do that awkward wave and smile and say thank you and that half walk run thing to get out of the way as quickly as possible. <laughs> Apparently, I just don't like running in front of people. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got to, what, 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 what? Where are you going? That's a good run. one. Yeah. I'm just running. Yeah. Running across the street. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about, uh, oh, this one's just quick bullet points. Love that. All right. One. Oh, there you go. There it is. Not finding Bible verses quickly during church. Oh, nice. That's yeah. me. You're yeah. the last one. You can hear your pages Shoot. turning. Yeah. Oh, what a loser. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, using coupons and gift cards at restaurants. That's what I think. That's why I started this one. I feel that one. Okay. For sure. What you're like? All right. I'm. Uh, uh, I mean, that's happened to me before. Because the the underlying is poor. Right. 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 Not. Yeah. It should just be. No, you're frugal. You are saving money. But money. Good job. But money is the is the framework. Right. Of this is money. Yeah. This is money. Yep. 15% off is money. Mm -hmm. You might as well say, hey, if, if it's 100 bucks, here's this is $15. Yeah. Right? Yep. And you don't want to. It's a, you're a loser. Right. Because what? Because you've kept track of the gift card? Yes. Or you're maybe you don't want to go here, but you're going here because you have a gift card? Yeah, you just you took the extra time to make sure you didn't have to spend it. 
Like, but somebody gave it to you. Oh, if it was a gift, or I don't know, you, a gift card or a rest or a coupon. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Using Can you get a Groupon. I'm trying to think of why that's lame. It, I mean, I mean it, it's not. That's what it really no, is. No, it it's is. Just, but it shouldn't be. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Right. Why? If you somebody says, "Hey, I have a I have a gift card." So what? I also love receiving gift cards from yeah, people. Yeah, so do like I. When I get a gift, gift card, cards, I'm like, nice, coupons. Dude, thank you. Using a gift card at a restaurant. So you're going to put, I know how this goes. You go and you're going to put your credit card in and the gift card you're going to correct slide it in. Yes. So no one sees Very you. Very subtle. Why? Right. Or you just say, what I would do is like, hey, I'm going to just say right now, I got a gift card for this place. Yep. Or like, but you try to get, you try to get Starbucks points. Mm-hmm. Right? Yep. You try to get Chick-fil-A, use it on your app so you can get the For points. Sure, dude. So everybody's in this structure. Yeah. Oh, but if you had a coupon, if you go up to Starbucks, I guess what do you, the Chick-fil-A system, it works, and then you get, oh, you get uh you deem it within the within the app. Yeah, you get a free whatever. Yeah. So you can click it in the app. Yeah. And then you can go up there and just get it. Right. You don't have to They've taken the shame out of it. I mean, that's true. Yeah. I guess that's it. Is They've there a fly also in here? Yeah, there's a fly in here. I got him to watch, 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 watch. Did you get him? There's no way. We're going to have to slow down the tape. Oh, I know. Oh, there he is. Dude, that was like a a movie. That was wild. All right. Um, That's a good one. All right. uh, Third one from that email is dog pooping and having to pick it up while going for a walk. Hold on, hold on. I think you got him that time. I got it right here. Nice, dude. <laughs> we should cut this out, probably. Should we cut this out? Do you want to? Why? Right there. Bro. It's a fly. Yo, he should be embarrassed for coming in on our podcast. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Bang. Game. Uh, the third one on this email is dog pooping and picking it up while we're going for a walk and carrying the bag, especially when the dog is big. Oh, yeah. You got you, you to carry it. I think it. that one's actually embarrassing. <laughs> No, that is embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, it's embarrassing. You're carrying a bag of poop. That's you should be embarrassed by that. That one, I think. Well, I think the the I think we're saying <laughs> things you shouldn't be embarrassed by. Right. Like if you pull up to a funeral, I talked about this because I went to a funeral like a, and you're like, all right, there's certain you should buy a car and think, can I take this to a funeral? If you're showing up with a truck with a Confederate flag with truck nuts on it to a fun, that's embarrassing. That should be embarrassing. Yeah, like the going to the going to the Starbucks with your desktop computer. It's embarrassing. Yeah, that's sh- that is shame that you should have. Yeah, it's, for, he- it's healthy shame. Yeah, to exist in in this world. If you, oh, perfect example. I don't ever like to be um, the first person at at a red light. Yep. I want to. If I'm never the first guy, I'm, unless the light's red before I get there. Interesting. In traffic, I don't want to be the last guy. I want to go. I'm going to just go like, I, or, but you should be, if you, have you ever like tried to turn and there's not enough room to turn and you, all these people can't go. Oh, you block the intersection. That should be embarrassing. For sure. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you yes. go, oh, it's embarrassing or I tried to make it because it's, you're being selfish. Yep. And you blocked all these people from going home or going to the restaurant or going for their families or whatever. Yep. And you stopped all of them. Yep. That should be embarrassing. Agreed. I wonder if there should be like a scale if you email in. Oh, where on the scale of embarrassment should so hel- be? I think I think we should just go total opposite end of this yeah. and just go. What are the healthy embarrassments? Oh yeah, that's a good one. What is like? What's yeah. the, what are the embarrassments in the healthy shame that is yeah. keeping the fabric of our society yeah. together? If you yeah. these ones are unnecessary, unnecessary. If on you, the other if end, you of at the beach turned your music all the way. I mean, you're you li- and you're listening to like Wheeler Walker. Yes, not because he's a bad musician, because the the the, the lyrics it's loud. Yeah, and the lyrics are like uh, profane. Sure, it's like it's like dirty. Mm-hmm. You should be embarrassed by that. Yeah, right. Yeah, absolutely. In order for us to all exist here, yeah, that should have embarrassment. And sometimes you go, "How does this not have embarrassment for you? Like, how are you doing this? Yep. How are you wearing this? How are you?" Uh, a lot of people intoxicated. That yeah. you go, I can't believe you're you're. This isn't. Imb- I think Sebastian, what Sebastian Manscalco is biggest special is, aren't you embarrassed? Yeah. Like getting into Perfect. the getting into the pool in Vegas with seven band-aids on. Ew. And then like, are you not? Ew, dude. Like in a ba- gag. Or he, I think he was at this a luxury hotel and he's talking about bringing a cooler down. Like, are you yeah. not embarrassed? Right. Dude, 
the kid the, or like bringing a cooler. I think he was in the checkout. You know, to check into the hotel and somebody brought a cool like, <laughs> dude, you brought that on a flight. <laughs> that, that's embarrassing. Yeah, we need it. We yeah. need the healthy embarrassment. Yeah. Now. So I, w- I wonder if you cl- I wonder if you're if it's a one to ten, if you click over to, to six that you that you don't qualify for embarrassment. You swung too far. Yeah. Yeah. But it might should be bringing a whole bag. So like if you're in a whole bag of poop, mm-hmm. that's embarrassing. Yeah. I wouldn't I just leave. I don't know. Go where somebody else or if you run into like a coworker and you're like, what do you got there? You hide it behind your back. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> a, a bag of poop from my dog. Yeah. That's embarrassing. Yeah. It's embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. If like, but if you get like a, like a flat tire, like driving. Right. You, you, that you, happens. What? You, what? Your tire went flat. Here we got more. Checking your bag at the drive through to make sure you got your sauces. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that's embarrassing. I'm, I, I, I think I might have. There's a couple of these I liked. I, I get embarrassed you, to check okay. my bag. Because you did. Why? To just you think make they sure they got the order right. They didn't do it right. I feel like it's kind of, I'm being offensive to yep, them. Even yep, though it's like, yep. no, I paid for it. Um, singing to music when at a stoplight. Like if people see you, see you singing along, I guess. It shouldn't be embarrassing. It shouldn't be. Yeah, listen to whatever you want. Figuring out where to sit after you tell a host at a restaurant. And there's a wait. Oh, figuring out where to sit. What does so that So you like, I come up to you, you're the, the hostess and I say, hi, I'd like a table for two. And yeah. you say, great. It's going to be about 15 minutes if you just want to hang out. And I go, okay, oh, great. Thanks. There? And then it's like, oh, all right. where do I go? I think somebody sent one in, maybe this is on there, but like, looking for your friends at a restaurant. Definitely. That's a good one. Definitely. bro. Yeah. Cause you go, oh, they're in here yeah. and it's full. Yeah. So they don't know where you're, the host doesn't know where your people are. No. And you're going around looking and you're like, what oh, a loser. He doesn't have any friends. Right. You're like, no. They're in here. They're here. They're here somewhere. And you go in the wrong section mm-hmm. and you got to turn around. <laughs> that is embarrassing. That shouldn't be, though. That should be zero. Yeah. And most of these, if it's a good one, should be zero. When you're hanging up on a FaceTime call, but you don't have the hang up button ready, so you look dumb trying to hang up and the phone <laughs> is way too close to your face. Zoom is better. Yeah. Zoom, Zoom. it. Where you go. All right. That, and then I just go, I just keep waving. Nice. Until I find the thing. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. All right, it's been good. All right. Yeah. All right, sounds good. All right. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, someone knocking when you're in the bathroom and you have to say something to let you know good you're one. in there. Oh, good one, <laughs> good one. That's What's a your great go-to? one. Somebody knocks on the door. I know you love knocking. No, I just go. I just go. Uh, uh, when somebody walks in, just a hard sniffle, mm-hmm. and then they definitely from the other side of the door are like, "Oh, he's doing coke in there." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I would go. Oh yeah, I'll go, <clears throat> or something like that. Nice. I would make myself. I don't. I would never get to this point. This is like in a one seater. Yeah. Or yeah, whenever. Yeah. All right. right. So you're in a situation where it, the bathroom is empty, but they don't know one person's in there. Otherwise, there's a bunch of other stalls. You don't need to make noise. No, I think they're talking about like uh, someone knocking. Like a one. Oh, once they knock. A, yeah, they knock. I don't ever get to the knock point. Well, you don't know they're in. The, they're outside the bathroom. What do you mean? Yeah, but I make noise. Just consistently. Yeah. Just consistently making noise inside yeah, yeah. the bathroom. Very cool. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> just like clapping yeah. like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 yo what's up dude or like maybe mess with my phone or what's something up, like dude? that I turn on just my do phone a voice memo for the whole time yeah <laughs> call sam to yeah. do uh like, All right, somebody's in there yeah yeah knock if you're like i'm in here yeah. when you uh when you have to take your shoe off to put your sock back on because it slipped down good one yep yeah embarrassing uh, tying your shoe is embarrassing yeah my shoe got untied we what? did that one last week oh we did yeah yeah um Wear, wearing something like ripped jeans or a tank top to church and being worried people you people think you don't go to church every week. <laughs> That's the same as the Bible one. Yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> You're like, oh, you think everybody else is looking at you a certain way. Yeah. No, because all these, I would say all these go back to one event at some point that you've gathered that. Mm-hmm. So you think that it's always that. Right. And, and that embarrassment is, does linger with you yeah very heavily here's a good yeah. a good universal one sneezing in public why uh, what why do i feel so embarrassed as i gear up to execute a very normal bodily function that everyone does yeah everybody does that and has no control you can't stop it like you're sneezing what do you want me to do oh the one i was gonna say earlier was yawning what yeah i feel so self-conscious every time i have to yawn because you think you've been out partying or i don't something want like i don't that? want anybody to feel like i'm being disrespectful bored like i'm not bored of you i'm, yeah. I'm tired like, I don't know what to tell this you. This is how my brain is. My body, yeah, bodily functions yes. across the board. Now, Ooh, swallowing something wrong, like taking a sip of water and it goes down the wrong pipe. You can't, and so yeah. you cough and you're like, ah, yeah, sorry. Here we what? are. What? This is how my body works. Yeah. Uh, 
I thought about, uh, yeah, we talked about going to the bathroom and sneezing, uh, uh, snoring. Mm. Where, like, I would always be self-conscious of it with my brothers yep. when we would go or on tennis trips or because I snore. Yep. So, what? Right. That, what are you going to do? Now, you talk about, like, if you sneeze in someone's face, yeah, dude. that's embarrassing. <laughs> yes. there are, if you fart, if you crop dust yeah. s- someone, like, that's embarrassing. Yeah. For, and you try not to. Yep. So there are, I guess they, they can go over the scale. Mm-hmm. Like, what I just tried to, I just tried, I sneezed or I yawned. Now, if you, like, somebody's telling, like, a, the presenting, like, a medal of... <sighs> A medal of honor, and you do that. You're not even yeah. trying to stop it. Yeah, sure. But otherwise, medal of honor, yawning <laughs> audibly during a medal of honor presentation. Oh my gosh, dude! In the front uh, row. snooze fest. Am I right? Uh, this guy still it. talking. Yeah. Brutal. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Unnecessary embarrassment. Is that another one? Here's a good one. Yeah, we can end with this one. I am late listening this week, but have you ever gone bowling? Why is walking oh, back from your turn so you. embarrassing? Do you stand and watch the ball go down the lane, or do you try to play it cool and walk back? Either way, it's embarrassing. Dude. That's a good that one. That is a great one. Bowling. It's embarrassing. It's, a long, it's the longest short walk ever. Yeah, because you have to wait until the result happens. Have to. And yeah. everyone's watching. So you bowl, wait, watch, and no one cares. This might be the worst one That's because bowling. you're guaranteed that other people are watching. Oh yeah, they are watching. They're watching. That's why yeah. we're here. It's your turn. Yeah, go. You, it, you're up. Yep. Yeah, you're. Do up. it. We're keeping score. And also, we don't care what the score is because we're all drunk, right? And we're all listening to <laughs> Cardi B. And there's uh, cause I don't know. The last time I went into bowling alley, a long time ago. Yeah. But you know what? You know why bowling is is not universal fun time? And you know who's you know who's figured this out? Who? Top Golf. Nice. They have eliminated that. Nice. Because you can do as many as you want. Right. So you can do five balls a piece. You can do 10. They can do five. They can do, right? Because everybody has 20. Right. So you hit, watch it, get the next one. Yep. Hit. And everybody else is eating cheese sticks, talking, doing whatever, maybe yep. interacting with you, maybe not. Oh, how do I learn? You keep going. Yep. Then you're done. You're like, hey, do you want to hit a few? They've eliminated that. Top golf has eliminated that. They figured it out. There's no, there's, yeah, the embarrassment of, I hate bowling. I hate bowling the most. <laughs> God, bowling is terrible, dude. <laughs> and you got to put in some fun, like, nickname for yourself. Yes. It's like some kind of, like, sex joke or you something You don't like, like that. stuff like that where you, like, got to do a custom no, thing? You don't like that stuff? No, dude. Why? Because it's and a And I'm cheap a comedian. Joke. Yeah. I just hate, like, like, I hate. Like, we're playing categories. Come up with a team name. Hate it. Why? I hate it, dude. <laughs> that you're like, oh, like, funny, like, fu- like, I hate, I hate all jokes on, on the, the, from the airline guy. I hate them. The, oh, the, yeah, the, um, yes, the airline the guy attendant. trying to do yeah. jokes. Yes. I hate jokes. <laughs> I don't hate jokes. I, I, yeah. Just when it's like, That's okay. so funny that you hate those two things. I you hate specifically it. hate those two I things. I hate them. The waiter jokes, mm-hmm. hate them. Okay. You're like, like all like the, like, I, maybe I like, I, I, I don't have like an elevated sense of humor that other people don't have, but I guess like just a very easy, like, not all right. Jokes like we'll, we'll let this guy order last. I know he's gonna have a bunch. All right, honey's over you. Yeah, we'll start with or you. like you're you like finished your plate and you're like, how's the meal? Like I hated it. You're like, <laughs> that's me. I did that one. You did? Yeah, oh, it's awesome. I've been doing that one forever. You dude. Have? I love that one. Yeah, oh. didn't like it at all. Classic. It's Not a go-to. Good. Yeah, jokes where, you, but sometimes the, I mean, if you go, we were in a, like a, we were taking a tour of something. I think like some caves or mines or something like that. And I goes, oh, this guy's funny. Mm-hmm. Okay, I got one more. Yeah, go. Okay, putting in a credit card wrong. Nice. I don't know. It's just too many things. Insert, swipe, Insert, tap. Insert, swipe, and tap yep. now. And there's, they got the black box. Yeah. And there's like, I go, they go, they turn, and they go here. And there's, the, I feel like it used to be, you would put in your card to get gas or swipe it at the, I mean, now it's every, it's everywhere. Yeah. And there's a 95 different ways. Yep. And you're like, dude, I don't, I've never seen this one. Do you know what I've decided on that? What? I'm tapping. Yeah. And if you don't have tap, it's your fault. You should. Yeah. That's how, that's where I'm at. We're yeah. in a tap world now. We're, We're tapping. tapping. If you you're not tap tapping. With, with your phone? No, I don't tap with my phone. You tap with the card. I'll take the card out. Yeah. Yeah. Cause then you got to click and do, yeah. You tap the card. Yep. 
Yeah. And if you don't have that capability, then you can tell me, but I've decided I'm not going to feel bad you about it. You default to tap. Yep. I tell I like myself, that. I'm no, I'm a tap guy. Yeah, but we switched from swipe to chip. Swipe to chip. Yeah. So you were the first, you're the first. Uh, well, I learned from that transition. Yeah. And I said, I'm, I, I should have just committed to the chip. Yeah. I should have just said, swipe. I'm a chip guy now. No, what's embarrassing yeah. is when you go to the one that we don't do anymore. But it's based yes. on your card, right? Right. So if your card is like, they just, it doesn't expire to like 2029. Mm -hmm. And now like cards in three years, it might not even be cards. It might be something else. Right. So it was swipe. Right. Then it was insert. Right. And now it's tap. Right. Yeah. So you're just going whatever the newest one is. I'm just committing is. as hard as I possibly can to the newest thing. Just yeah. to be like, what do you mean? You don't have that yet? Oh, okay. I mean, okay. yeah. So well, if you I'll go, chip if you want, but. if you're still, if you have to choose an embarrassment, yes. If would you, if you if it's an insert, and you go swipe or tap, you go tap. Yes. Yeah, because that's the new cool one. Yes, I'm erring on the side of progress. So they're the losers. Yeah, you guys are late. If you swipe, you're a loser. We're tapping over here. Yeah, we've been what tapping, dude. Doing? We're tapping, dude. You remember guys are the chipping still? Like, what are you? Remember what the first time? 2021. Is it? Is the tap? <laughs> is the tap? Is it done being a flex for the tap? Uh, remember that tap yeah, yeah, at the yeah. beginning? Yes, it's not. A, it's not a flex anymore. Everybody's like, what? Yeah. It's, it's basically when you normal. started the tap. Yeah, oh, that was hot. You could just touch it. And dude, you go, what? and everybody goes, dude, who is this guy? Did you just pay for that? Dude. Through the air? Yeah, tap is fire. The next Swipe is the in. Amazon Palm thing where you just go, boop. Oh, yeah. That's the next thing. It's going to be in your hand? Yeah. They're already doing it. Really? Yeah. They're already doing that at Amazon's. I mean, are at a, like Whole Foods has it, um, certain airport. I thought yeah. you were being like a grandpa, like, you go to Amazon's. I got no Amazon. Amazon's, yeah. Amazon's, yeah. I got this book off Amazon's. Bro, I, I walked into a, like a, you know, a Newport well, News. Didn't. Newport News at like a Dude. Air, airport or whatever, yep. right? I walked in. The lady at the gate is like educating people on this because it's new. The all right, what are you talking about? The thing at the airport? Yeah, Newport when, News is like the convenience store of you the airport. Swipe right? and go in. Literally. Oh, I thought I know what you're talking about. You yep, swipe yep, your yep. card, you go walk in, in, get everything, grab leave. whatever you want, and walk out. I have we have that in Nashville. So crazy. We have that in Nashville. Yeah. That's crazy. How? Oh yeah. How? How do you how? It's got a, like something with proximity of my card to the items that I took out, and then the entire doorway is a scanner, I guess. And but how uh, the, all the barcodes? Right. That's crazy. There's no like boop. There's no like you know what I mean. There's no verification that yep. like you're doing this right. You just yep. walk out. And let, let's just let's just. And sure enough, I checked my statement, and it was fine. I bet. Charge me. I bet it was fine. Yep. And let's just bring this all the way back around. Yes. To the to the five billion dollar yacht that the Walmart person has. Somebody started that. Yep. And that takes a, so much money mm -hmm. and engineering to invest in that. Yep. Right? Yep. And then everybody, like, they're like, how come Walmart has all this money? Well, you, they invented a way of consumerism that, is, that, that you, we all use. Yep. So, and they put a lot of risk into that. And speaking of risk, a lot of risk sometimes doesn't pay off. Yeah. I put a lot of money into videos. Sometimes they don't work. Yep. Okay. Um... We've tried what? shows that didn't work. We put a Perfect. lot of money into shows that didn't work didn't for work. us, and it is. And what it you is. listen to a podcast and you find one that you like. All right, it's a risk that they've been trying. Yep. Think about the risk that Mark Zuckerberg, yeah, has made on threads. Yeah, that is done. Is it? You think it's done? Yeah, I'm done with it. It's done. They are over a hundred million users, it's and done. I'm good. And it's the it's going straight down. I don't need it. Done. Yep. And we talked about when that we talked about last week or two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. Two weeks. Done. Yeah. All right. Done. Think about the investment that he's made in Meta mm -hmm. or the in the uh, uh, whatever, the other alternate universe, whatever they're doing. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a so much money. Yeah. It's so much money and it failed. Mm -hmm. So if he, if, if he, he bought Snapchat, he bought, right? He bought what all the things that he's, the, some of them have worked, some of them have not. Mm -hmm. If that, that risk, should reward you if it goes well. Mm -hmm. It should. Same with you work on a lot of podcasts, the ones that go, you should be rewarded for those. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I get the I get the the negativity toward capitalism at some point, but you've got to, all the things that you use mm -hmm. you should be rewarded for if you make them good. Yeah. And, and we'll also move the goalpost on that too. Mm -hmm. We'll go... Hey, it was cool. It's cool now that you could just walk into a store, swipe your card, and take out yeah. whatever you wanted, and it'll yeah. charge you. 
there's another next step to that too. Always. I don't know what that yeah. is, but there's going to be one because someone's going to come along and go, yeah, this is now kind of antiquated. Let's yeah. get. And in 1956, the mm -hmm. Amish said enough. Yeah. They were like, we're good here. This is where we, this is where okay. we get off. Yeah. This good. is where we get off the interstate. Yeah. No, no. Never need more than two horsepower. Gosh, dude. We're good. We are uh, enough. <laughs> we're good. But all right. So let's just say we got to end this podcast, mm -hmm. but let's just say you stopped now. Mm -hmm. You're the Amish of 50 years in the future. Wow. Right? That's interesting to think about. That's going to be so hard technologically. So you could draw the stuff line. work anymore. You could draw the line at... I think you had to draw it 100 years ago. Yeah. Because this is going to be obsolete. This is going to be obsolete. The chords to play, it's all going to be... Do you think when they drew the line <laughs> and then they watched like airplanes happen... And cars oh, yeah. happen. Do you think they were like, shoot, we might have tapped out too soon? No, God we told us too soon. Yeah, <laughs> we should have waited. Are you sure he didn't mean next? Hold on. Let me get a hair dryer. Year. Let me get a hair dryer. Yeah. And then, and then, yeah. hey, no more. You think there were people like petitioning for buzzer beaters in the yeah. Amish community? You're like, can we grandfather in? Let's get it. This? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they were like, all right, we're no, no, like, well, the bicycles, right? Yeah. They go, we'll go ride or we'll ride bicycles. Right. No engines. Right. But then somebody, but batteries, mm -hmm. that's kind of like, slits the slippery slope over there. That's the line. Because you had to plug in right. a battery, mm -hmm. but you can't have an electric bike. Right. Because that's, you can't have a, you can't have a, like a motorbike. Right. But you can't have. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder if there were people who were pissed. The and Amish. They were like, we, we Dude. stopped too soon. Why did we call it now? We should have kept going. Another five years. Yeah, another that's it. five years. I'm gonna look. Dude. I want to look this up. We get it. What, what is the stop of the? Uh, when, when did, did the, the Amish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, stop. What Amish? When's the end of Amish technology? I'd say the fifties, my twenties. High voltage electricity was rejected by 1920 through the actions of a strict bishop oh, yeah, as a 20s. reaction to against more liberal Amish. Oh yeah. So they have their own sex and everything too. Yeah. Technology. Where does the technology stop? Yeah, because if they, I wonder if they have like a. Uh... This is so interesting. Yeah, because it go. We talk about it all the time. Because what if there was like an airplane, an airplane that like flies over the other, um, the community, and they see there's like a drought like over there. Can they use that information mm. that the guy from the airplane gave to them? Oh, interesting. Like we can't go over there. But you told us that that's over there, so we're, yeah. Right. It's just a, you got to protect the sanctity of the religious practice yep. with, with also being practical. Yep. So the road is coming through your neighborhood. Obviously, there's cars in there. This is on uh, Quora. I'm going to so look it's, it up. So it's submitted by just some person. Okay. But uh, the question was, how did Amish people decide that mid-1800s technology oh, was mid just the right amount? mid-1800s. Yeah. Uh, it says they never did make that decision. It's largely a myth that the Amish froze time in around 1850, 1850. and refuses to acknowledge hmm. anything ever. I say largely because they're conservative person. Wow. There you go. Many Amish businesses have accepted telephones. Okay. Only in the office and never for personal calls. But yeah. running a business without a telephone is hard. So telephones yeah, dude, are okay yeah, with yeah, yeah. certain parameters. So they do make exceptions. To, for, I guess, but where? But every Some, also every religion does this. Absolutely. Every everything does this. Absolutely. Yeah. Some communities have telephones located on the outskirts of the settlement. Again, not for personal calls, but if they need a doctor or a veterinarian that can run out and they can run out and get the necessary assistance. Dairy farms may have electricity to keep the milk cool, otherwise they would not be allowed to sell it. Oh yeah. Obviously. Constru yeah, duh. Yeah. Construction businesses may use some power tools. Okay. If you need dialysis, you can run an electric line to the house to power the equipment. Yeah, if you obviously. cannot walk, you can use an electric wheelchair. Wow, that's that's a lot of rules. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Oh, if you can't walk, you can use an electric wheelchair. Yeah. All they right. do not ban new technology by definition. They just want to make sure that it does not disturb their way of life before allowing it. Okay. I get that. I'm I actually, board. I'm way more on board now. I yeah. already was, but interesting. So, and the bishop decides. Yeah. Right. He's the he's the pastor of the, yeah. the community. Yep. Yeah. This person says, my understanding is that the Amish just want to avoid worldliness. Yeah. Yeah. So if you go, hey, I, I want, I want, uh, want a, uh, I mean, everybody, everybody's doing the exact same thing the Amish are doing, just farther along. Right. Yeah. They go, all right, I'm not, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I couldn't draw that line. Yeah. I couldn't either. But I, I would have never become a tap guy. 
Oh, yeah. Tap, tap, tap in. Yep. Maybe she was talking about credit card swiping. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Shoddy? Ladies and gentlemen, net positive. We'll see you next week, baby. Let's go. I mean, yeah, sure. It was a little weird, but on the net, net on the, on the, it, it, it was a positive. It was a positive. <laughs> you cannot be serious. But on the net, it's a positive.